in this one. How does that raise the stakes here? Well, both teams want this one bad. And, and a chance to prove they're the dominant squad. I, I think it's going to get pretty heated at some point here tonight. Now, look at Memphis's starting group. Bain and Williams are your wingmen. Jackson is out there with Williams. And it's Morant in at the guard position. Now, here's Morant. That one's in his first oh, shot this game. John Morant's body control and ability to take contact and stay focused is so impressive. Outside for George. Offline with his three. Memphis with the ball. Morant outside. He dishes it to Jackson. That one drops for him. What a pass for Morant. He does a terrific job staying alert, seeking out the right opportunities to get his teammates involved. Man passes to Leonard. Outside, George. Up again. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. That's his first foul. First team foul. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. The pass to Mann. Here's Westbrook. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. There wasn't a lot of resistance there at that rim. He just, he just tricked off a little bunny. Gets it to fall. The bucket from Bain. And creating a little separation here. Gaining some confidence. Yeah, they've locked in during this stretch. If they keep it up, their lead will only continue to grow. Getting a step on the defense there. Once Leonard has this, you know he's going to capitalize. And Morant throws it down. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Here's Westbrook. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Good concentration there from Westbrook. He got hit. Morant against Westbrook. And finished off by Morant. Oh, reversed at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. Westbrook kicks to Tice. Going inside. And Tice throws it down. This is what you love to see. Westbrook sharing the ball with open teammates, making the right play. Westbrook against Morant. Outside Jackson. Launches a three. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got three assists now in this one. Clippers trail by eight. It's hard to quantify how impactful Jaron Jackson Jr. is on D. He does so much. Yeah, the rim protection is elite. That's why he was Defensive Player of the Year, Greg. But he can also switch out on screens and not look lost. The sky is the limit for him defensively. The length and quickness of George is so difficult to guard against. That really compromises the defense, forcing them to foul. And both free throws, good for Paul George. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Morant outside. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Morant's got eight points. So creative with the ball in his hands. Morant is adept at creating offenses for himself. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Westbrook. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Now here's Morant. He's got eight. And Morant throws it down. John Morant was a great player, but he became a star once he learned how to dominate pick and rolls. Taken away by Williams. And here we go. Pass break, and Morant's got it. Leonard with the steal. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. Tice with the ball. Williams picks him up. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. The shot by George, no good. Just a enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Williams looking over the floor.
Six on the shot clock. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. Looking at who's out there now for the Grizzlies. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Williams. Luke Kennard comes in for Bain. And Derek Rose is subbed in for John Morant. Here's Rose. Paul George making his last shot. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Jackson a screen on Westbrook. Rose against Westbrook. Rose dishes to Williams. And the wing jumper offline. Leonard attack. Finishing oh, with force. Whoa. That's what I'm talking about. And throw it down, Kawhi. That was nasty. Love watching him go hard. And a John Moran has been leading the charge, guys, for Memphis. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. Oh, boy, they've been driving deep into that defense early on, and it's paid off. Great penetration from the perimeter so far. And one other thing they've done well today, guys, share the ball. I mean, set up teammates and just playing. Then it's Harden, and it's Coffee, and it's small forward. A costly foul there. He'll shoot three free throws. And sports may be the ultimate meritocracy. Does it matter where you're from, a grade, your background? You got to have game, right? Kevin, it's a beautiful thing. Some players grew up with a father in the NBA. Others were a world away. Either way, when you get here, you know you've earned it. He's become a dependable scorer. This man, Jaron Jackson Jr., will look. He's averaged double digits over the course of his early career. Shot is good, and the Memphis leads cut to just five points in the basket from Tucker. Drew the defense and made the proper read, hitting his teammates on the perimeter. Here's Rose. The Clippers grab the miss. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniffed that one out. And the dunk by Powell. Terrific recognition from Harden. He has a sixth sense when it comes to getting guys open. So timeout call here. The first for Memphis. Some changes for Memphis. Santi Aldama's checked in for Jaron Jackson. And Smart subbed in for Williams. And the Grizzlies leading by three. Marcus Smart. Outside Rose. Makes it off the glass. Rose has got four points in the quarter. And Derrick Rose certainly equipped athletically to punish teams in the paint. Harden against Rose. Harden the pass to Coffee. Deflects the pass. Powell finds Harden. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Never scared to shoot from deep. The lefty stroke of Harden. Oh, man, it's so fun to watch. Outside Rose. Clark a screen on Harden. From 18 feet away. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on James Harden. The Grizzlies shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And you got to love watching Rose play the game. His intense style can be infectious out there. And I think it really does elevate his teammates. Harden against Rose. And the shot is good. The Grizzly lead has been cut down now to just two on the basket from Zubac. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Rose kicks to Smart. Hands it from downtown. Smart's got himself on the board with three there. Just such a quick release there by Marcus Smart. You love to see that just catch, touch, and release. Here's Harden. Rebounded by Rose. And the Grizzlies leading by five. Kennard for three. Unable to get that one. 
for Los Angeles. They've gone five of six so far from the field in the second quarter. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Paul George is one of the game's premier two-way wings. He says, I believe in my talent and what I can do, but I feel my job is to make everybody better. That's what I try to do when I'm on the floor. Just make the game easy for everybody, whether it's creating or just being aggressive and making reads off of that. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, David lets the game come to him. Well said by him. Thank you. The Clippers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Richard, what's an unseen skill that P.J. Tucker possesses, uh, one that might normally go unnoticed? Ah, that's a good question, Kev. I think it's his communication. Tucker is a big talker on the floor. He's sharing information, alerting his teammates. It's an underrated skill of leadership. Altama gets the bucket. Love it when Rose looks to share the ball, especially when his teammates are open like that. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Harden has a wide open look, and they come right back with their own three-pointer. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Take that, he says. I see your three, and I'll raise you another three. Canard for three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. A nice shot. Harden against Rose. 43 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Clark. And the rejection by Zubats. Harden against Clark. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. There's always been a natural power to Harden's game. Contact rarely affects a guard of his size. Baines checked in for Memphis. John Morant comes in for Rose. Bain. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Bain's got five. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Pass to Powell. Here's Zubats. Here he goes. Get him the ball anywhere close to the hoop. That thing is over. Clark inside. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. It's the Grizzlies leading by... Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. as we get into this third quarter as we've seen so far neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet an exceptional performance so far from James Harden and the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on and it's a role we don't always see him in but he's done a great job tonight getting the rest of his team involved so the Grizzlies five right now in at the guard spots Morant and Bain Smart is out there with Jackson, and it's Clark in at center. And you can see the strength that Jackson has added to that huge frame. He is turning into a monster. Williams, he's checked in for Clark. He's made two of his three attempted tonight. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for Los Angeles. It's a five-point game. Tice sets a screen for Westbrook, and he drives in. Tice with the ball. Williams picks him up. Leonard with the bucket. Wow. Kawhi sticking in the dagger. He's someone you have to chase off that jump. Now here's Morant for three. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. Guy's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. <laughs> And it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. 
And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Right side, Williams. Williams, a screen on West. And the Grizzlies tack on two more. Still a little bit of a streak shooter. Morant has been deadly accurate tonight. Man. Westbrook against Morant. And finished off by Westbrook. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. He'll take it. This is that modern big man play. Tall guys who are comfortable draining shots from deep. Here's Westbrook, the double clutch, and he sinks the layup. Westbrook's got four points now in the quarter. Look, Westbrook still has some bounce in those legs, especially when this man gets a lane to the rim. Memphis leading by six. And here's Morant. 15 points in the game. The kick out to Bain. There's the triple. Good. And the nice assist from Morant. Morant's got his fifth assist in this one. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of three from the field since halftime. Westbrook dishes to George. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Memphis has gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. Morant outside. Jackson setting the pick here for Morant. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Williams has checked in. Here's Jackson. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Here's Mann. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Man has got his first basket. And he'll take it right into the teeth of the D without thinking twice about it. Morant drives in. Jackson finds Bain. Jackson with the screen. And a wide open look for Bain. It's good from about 19 feet. Bain's got five points now in the quarter. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. I'm out called the Grizzlies. All right, folks, if you want a t-shirt, come on and make some noise. So Memphis ends up going with the new group. Memphis leading by nine. Here's Rose. Up and in on the way. Rose has got 10. And this is who Rose is. This guy's a warrior, never backing down from an aggressive defense. Takes it out to Leonard. But Trey, and he's good on the three ball. Well, I guess we could give him credit for not getting discouraged. They're still playing hard. He's doing his job out there. Rose against Westbrook. Pass to Clark. Here's Kennard. And another basket for Memphis. And guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. Westbrook with it. He's got six. Kicks it out to Leonard. Here's the three. Rebound by Rose. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Twelve seconds left in the third. Inside, Aldama. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. And now a 12-point Grizzly lead. Threading the needle there effortlessly. Rose truly a pro when it comes to running with that pick and roll. And so it's Memphis. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. 
Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Not just playing selflessly, but also making a smart decision with the ball. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. So with Harden on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. George and Leonard are the forwards. The backcourt pair will be Westbrook and Mann. And it's Tice in at the center position. Here's Smart. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space, it has to be a great play on each end. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. Westbrook against Rose. Outside, smart. Six to shoot. Wide open look. And the Grizzlies tack on two more. Look, and if you're the defense, you have to honor Marcus Smart's mid-range day, or else that's exactly what's going to happen. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Grizzlies making a switch here. Williams is checked in for Brandon Clark. Jaron Jackson comes in for Santi Aldama. Baines checked in for Luke Kennard. And it's Morant in for Rose. Morant scanning the floor. And Morant throws it down. Okay, I see you, Ja, flexing a little bit of muscle, showing off that athletic ability. Okay. Westbrook kicks to George. Morant with the steal. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Williams, a screen on George. Morant against George. Morant drives in. The Clippers grab the miss. Here's Leonard. Another shot. Misses the lamp. He had him with that bump fake. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. George against Morant. Williams inside. No good that time. Clippers trail by 15. And it's Paul George with the finish. And putting his explosive athleticism on full display there. George is capable of some highlight reel dunks. Westbrook with the steal. Pops in the layup for two. Got it in close. And unless it's an open three, that's the key to efficient offense. And the Grizzlies leading by 11. It's Morant with the drive. Jackson has the open look. Good. And the nice assist from Morant. Jackson's got nine points now in just the second half. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're behind by 14. There's a minute 47 left to play in the final quarter. And the Clippers making a switch here. Harden's checked in. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. Leonard kicks to George. Let's the three fly. Harden can't hit. Now Jackson. Now here's Williams. Morant outside. Lock at six. And the Grizzlies tack on two more. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Grizzlies. They found a great rhythm from long range. Yeah, Kevin, every time they left a man open deep, it, he'd get a good shot at the basket. Didn't hesitate, and that aggression paid off. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for John Morant. He was just dropping dimes left and right out there. Any opening that the D provided, he exploited it and found his teammates. Here's Morant. Got a piece of it. 
Bain passes to Moran. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Harden driving in. Bucket is good. This is the offensive onslaught that is James Harden. Just capable of dominating games all by himself. Here's Morant. Shot clock at six. And Morant throws it down. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. Harden, no good.
extra spicy, especially when they feature teams from the same conference. Ooh, I like a little spice. But remember, only one team per conference gets to the final, so that's going to naturally develop some rivalries here and there. So tonight should be a really competitive game. Now Atlanta starting five. The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. Clint Capella out there with Johnson. And it's Bay in at the three. Now here's Young to the paint. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Three on three. Here's Porzingis. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. It's been a career of ups and downs for Porzingis. But he seems to have found himself now, Doris. Well, let's think about the start of his career with the New York organization. He was off to a tremendous start. Then the injury sets in. And obviously, there's a physical and mental battle you've got to overcome. But boy, now that he's moved on, he is starting to become a force. And DeJounte Murray is truly the complete package. He does a little of this and a little of that. Anything you need out there, he can make it happen. Now here's Tatum. Pass to White. The kick to Tatum. Five on the clock. Murray against White. Over Murray. And that one's long. Outside Johnson. Murray with it. Now guarded by White. And it's good for two. Getting to one of his sweet spots on the floor, Murray drops it in. Holiday surveying the floor. Pass to Porzingis. Here's Brown. They kick it out to Porzingis. And the ball out of play. The Hawks will have it. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Young against Holiday. Johnson a screen on Holiday. Young the pass to Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. You want to take away the shooting of Young, but in the pick and roll, Trey can dish it effectively. The kick out to White on the wing, Holiday. Pass to Porzingis. Stolen by Capella. Bay right side. Young against Holiday. Puts up a three. Young can't hit. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Kick out to Brown. Sinks it from distance. Well, if you leave someone that wide open, Derek White will put it on time and on target. Up top, Young. Another one falls for Atlanta. Uh, this guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Doris, you think about how the Celtics are built. They make shrewd personnel choices year after year. They have historically drafted very well. I think the challenge for the Boston Celtics and all organizations, the new implications of the salary cap and player personnel deal. Building teams may look different going forward. Atlanta with the ball. The Celtics making their last shot. Young with it. Picked up by Tatum. Johnson. And no good. Tatum with some nice D. And it's Holiday with the ball for the Celtics. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused, but weird plays happen. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Hunters checked in for the Hawks. Bogdanovich comes in for Murray. Now here's Brown. Pass to Tatum. Now Porzingis. Now White. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. The Hawks have gone three of six from the floor. Young against Holiday from about 19. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. And so shifty with great handles. Young gets the defender to commit, then takes full advantage. The drive by Tatum. Kick out to Brown. 
102 left to play in the first. Three, and it's going to be a three-second call. For Atlanta, they've gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Capella, screen on Holiday. Young, the pass to Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. Refusing to give up on the glass, Capella truly works for his rebounds. Here's Holiday, and counted from 19 feet away. For Atlanta, they've gone five of nine from the floor. Young looking for an opening. Plenty of space, and he gets the jumper to drop. Young's got six. The scoring ability of Young is just unreal. It's what's made him an all-star. Outside Holiday. Tatum with it. Now guarded by Bay. Holiday passes to Tatum. To the middle. From the right block. And the bucket is good from Porzingis in deep. Porzingis has gotten his second bucket. Well, he's got the green light. Porzingis understands. Be ready on the catch. Here's Capella. Soft touch off the glass. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. And so, lots of scoring in a competitive first quarter. The Hawks on top. They're up by two. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And from what we've seen from the Hawks, what's your take so far? Well, you have to look at the advantage they have in the turnover department. I mean, that's a huge advantage for them in this game. Offensively, they took care of the ball. And defensively, they forced a number of miscues. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Hawks starting the second. Murray the two and Griffin the three. Johnson is out there with Onyeka Kongwu. And it's Bufkin in at the point guard position. Out of bounds. Celtics ball as Boston keeps possession. Atlanta on D. Horford with it. Now a Kong Wu defending. Here's Pritchard. Misses the three. The Hawks leading. Here's Bufkin. Lays it up and banks it in. And that's true unselfishness right there. Murray outstanding feed to the open teammate. Here's Hauser. Pass to Mikhailuk. Griffin comes with a double. Clock at six. The floater. The shot by Mikhailuk. No good. Well, the Hawks shooting very well. 62% and going right at the defense. Back to Okongwu. Oh, the dunk by Okongwu. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, Jalen Brown has shown steady development over his career. He said, quote, every year presents different challenges. I think that's the fun part about basketball, that it's not the same. you got to be flexible, you got to be durable, and you have to be able to grow with the game. Brian? Allie, he keeps getting better and better. Thanks for that. Good stuff. And Grant, some players feel like certain officials have it out for them. Did you ever see any of that? You know what, B.A., the refs are human, too. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> but they're supposed to be impartial. So if you go after them for a while, it's possible they will hold a grudge. Murray scanning the floor. There's the screen by Johnson. Pulls up, high post, two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. And using the pick and roll to perfection. I love how crafty Murray is in these situations. Pass to Pritchard. Takes it inside. It's stolen by a Kongwu. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. There's the screen by Johnson. Rebound Boston. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. To the wing on the left. Here's Hauser. And it's off from three-point range. The Hawks have gone four for six here in the second. Here's Johnson. Here's Griffin. Hauser grabs the board. 
Boston's gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Here's Pritchard. No good on the three. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Pass to Bufkin. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Bufkin's got four points this quarter. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. And Boston calls time here. So Boston ends up going with a new group. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Tatum taking flight. You see the level of verticality that Jason Tatum brings to the table. <laughs> nice. Young against Holiday. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Young against Holiday. Pass to White. Right side, Porzingis. Outside, Holiday. And here's Porzingis. Shoots over a Kongu. And Porzingis gets it to go on the assist by White. White's got five assists in the game. Young against Holiday. Outside, Hunter. A Kongu, a screen on Brown. The first one falls. The line for the Hawks. DeAndre Hunter. And both free throws good for Hunter. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Tatum, a screen on Young. Kick out to Brown. Out to the right wing. There's Tatum with the three. Jason Tatum, he's a sharpshooter. You have got to be in Tatum's space. This guy is such a terrific range shooter. Holiday against Young. Bogdanovich with a screen on Holiday. Pass to Bogdanovich. Shoots over White. And he misses his first shot of the game. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The Hawks on top, up five. Well, now we have some time. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Boy, what a great performance by Trey Young. I love how effortlessly he scored. The game just comes so easy for him. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. White and Brown are the two and the three. Chris stops Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the one. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Kept alive. Here's Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. And inside, Capella knows how to throw his weight around, getting physical to get past the contact. Outside Tatum. The three. Here's Porzingis. Some room here for Holiday. Capella with a rebound. The Hawks leading. Outside Bogdanovich. Here's Bay. The rebound, Celtics. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Well, the past few years, Jason Tatum has made a concerted effort to attack the rim. 
B.A., he has gotten stronger. He has gotten more aggressive. Even with his offhand, Tatum is now special at finishing around the rim. You love this about him. He methodically attacks his weaknesses in order to become complete. Well, off the dribble, Jason Tatum continues to perfect multiple options in his arsenal. Trey, quick on the take. Bay against Tatum. Bay, no good. On the wing, Tatum. The kick out to White. Back to Tatum. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. For Atlanta, they've got just two of six in the second half. Young against Holiday. Young, the pass to Bay. Young inside. Outside Hunter. Back to Young. That's basket number six and eight tries. Yeah, he can light up the stat sheet. Young really putting on a clinic. Holiday finds Tatum over Bay. And Tatum with the basket on the assist by Holiday. Tatum's got 11. Some defenses are designed to yield the mid-range shot. For him, that's a good look. Capella, screen on Holiday. Here's Young. Oh, Young with the power move. The quicks off Trey Young. He gets to the rim at will. Better come with help side defense. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. Yeah, B.A., that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind it. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. And the basket by Holiday. Yeah, that's some flashy stuff from Holiday. I mean, those moves give confidence that carry over into your shot. Capella, screen on white. Here's Murray. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one on white. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. And he can't hit the second. Austin trailing. Cornette passes to Horford. Pulls up. And the Celtics tack on two more. And both teams playing with a little more urgency in this half. They are getting after it hard. It has become a real battle out there. Outside Johnson. Pass to Capella. Left side Murray, a shot from the mid-range, and the shot's good. Nine points in the game. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Takes a three. Rebounded by Johnson. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. Leading by five. 51 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Hauser. Here's Mikhailuk. Here's Pritchard. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. And there's a three-second violation. For Atlanta, they've gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Murray up top. He's got nine. Here's Capella. And it's out of bounds to the Hawks as Atlanta retains possession. Twenty-seven seconds left in the third quarter. There's a screen by Johnson. Murray passes to Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Heads up play by Murray. He sees that the pick and roll gets someone open and sends them the ball. Here's Pritchard. Up again. It's good on the putback. Ooh, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. And here's Murray. Here's Capella. And we've watched three so far in this one. The Hawks on top, up by five. And fourth quarter basket. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And 
And here's Boston. Fourth quarter on the floor for the Hawks. Hunter and Bay holding down the forward spots. Young runs point with Bogdanovich at the two. And it's a Kongwu in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And here's Brown for three. The rebound by the Hawks. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Bogdanovich finds a Kongwu. Oh, the dunk by a Kongwu! And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Tatum shot is good. My goodness, Jason Tatum from another zip code. Young with it. Bay with a screen. Fires from deep. Oh, Trey virtually automatic from deep. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. It's Brown on the wing, guarded by Young. Brown gets the bucket. Jalen Brown with the immediate answer from three-point territory. Yes, sir. Outside Young. Inside. Bay outside. Baseline try. And it's Atlanta scoring again. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Back to Bogdanovich. Just five to shoot. White with the steal. Now the Celtics on the move. And White finishes off the break. Well done. That's what you call speed, being the difference in transition off the steal. Derek White so heads up. Outside Young. Bay with a screen on Holiday. Young from long range. And the Hawks with another three. Boy, what else is new? This guy's accuracy this quarter has been phenomenal. Brown inside. Hunter covering. And that's a foul called on Onyeka Kongwu. That's his first foul of the game. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Holiday passes to Tatum. It's Tatum working inside. The very definition of their go-to player. Mr. Tatum, ball in your hands. Yes, sir. Outside Young. There's the three. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got four rebounds now. Holiday passes to Brown. And an intentional foul right there. DeJounte Murray's checked in for the Hawks. 151 left in the fourth quarter. Down low. Outside Holiday. The three. And the Celtics another three. Stepping up. Big time basket from Drew. I mean, we've seen him excel in big moments before. But wow. Outside Murray. with two hands and with confidence Murray stepping up at a crucial point in this game to the right side Porzingis passes to Tatum and the Celtics another three that's one of those clutch shots he's known for when the pressure is high he seems to be the most locked in here's Holiday good and Brown gets the assist Holiday's got five points now in the quarter the leadership of Holiday shining through. Wow. Awesome to see him come up big like this. Here's Murray. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And if 
if you can't force the turnover on that play, then that's not a bad foul. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Celtics. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. Here's Holiday, And Bay pulls it down. And so it's Bay who brings up the ball for the Atlanta Hawks. It's a one-point game. Pass to Hunter. Bay outside. Outside Murray. Six to shoot. Bay with a screen on white. The Hawks need to get one up here. Oh, the trifecta! And the stakes were high right there. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. And Boston calls time here. They're down by four. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Holiday. Outside White. Here's the three. And he can't get that one.
one, Greg, two teams that are among the most athletic in the NBA. And I don't know if it'll be a track meet, but it will be an up-tempo game. And that's the only way these teams know how to play. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. The front court is McDaniels and Towns. And it's Gobert in at the pivot, manning the middle. And it's Morant missing. Yeah, and the height disadvantage there forced them into a really tough shot. Tried the fadeaway, but just couldn't pull it off. Towns sets the pick for Edwards. No good on the triple. Memphis with the ball. Morant with it. Picked up by Edwards. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Incredibly for the Minnesota Timberwolves, Clark, a 2004 playoffs are the only time they've won a series. You know, Kevin, with Kevin Garnett, they had a few 50-win teams and some excellent coaches. That just tells you, I think, how hard it is to win in this league. Edwards against Bain. Pocket six. Here's Gobert. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And, you know, you give Edwards credit for making the right decision there. Feeding his teammate. Smart, good basketball. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. Pass to Williams. And he banks in the layup. It's like leading a picture book for Moran. He makes it look insanely easy. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Williams against Edwards. Williams a screen on Edwards. Williams kicks to Bain. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And it's Conley penetrating. Towns dishes to come and the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. That's his first foul. Here's Gobert. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by and he drops in the layup off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And a wide open look for Bain. And again, it's Memphis with the three. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Here's McDaniels. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Memphis has gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. And the 28th pick in the 2020 draft, Clark, Jaden McDaniels has more than outplayed his draft position. Yeah, you know, there were some question marks year one in college at UW, but you look at him now, hey, length, mobility, skill set, those are things that every team wants and needs. Shoots. A kick out to Towns. They get a hand on it. Here's Towns. It's a very good look and converts. Entering the league already with a good jump shot, Towns has improved his leg strength. That gives him even more consistency on that J of his. Here's Morant. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Shot on the wing. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And here's Morant. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Outside Jackson. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got three assists in the game. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Gobert with a screen for Edwards. 
Baseline J on the way, and that one is good. You know, confidence feeds on itself, and the more experience Edwards gets, I think the more confidence he'll continue to gain, especially operating in these pick-and-roll sets. Morant against Edwards. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That's foul number two for him. Some changes for Memphis. Clark, he's checked in for Williams. Luke Kennard comes in for Bain. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Morant. Great crossover to get free. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Conley against Rose. Jackson a screen on Conley to the paint. And there's Jackson on the assist by Rose. Jackson's got five points so far. Four seconds left. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Watch out. You can see how Edwards has really developed and worked on his handle. It's become a strength of his game. And so it's Memphis holding on to an eight-point lead heading in. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Grizzlies. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And something else that's working for them is ball movement. A lot of their points so far have come as a result of smart plays. They've got Clark. Luke Kennard out there with Derrick Rose. Then it's Williams. And it's Aldama in at the four-man position. That's the group for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. You know, Clark, I remember you had such a strong mid-range game when you were playing. Do you think it would have been hard to stretch your game out to three like a lot of guys are doing now? You know what, Kevin? It's interesting. I was actually starting to try to add the three-point shot to my game way back in the mid-'80s as part of my development. So I don't think it's hard. It's a matter of putting the work in. And shooting is one of those skills in the game that can really be refined with good mechanics and just volume of work. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alder. David. Thank you, Kevin. The Timberwolves have gone twin towers with Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert. Gobert says, I love playing with another dominant big because I've always thought that I could pass. I know that I can make guys around me better. Cat says, we complement each other. He's a generational talent on defense, and I think I'm a generational talent on offense. Kevin, I'm a generational talent on <laughs> You are indeed, and that's why you are in Springfield. No argument here, David. Thank you. Back to Kennard, beyond the arc. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And it's Warren with the jam. Well, really hard to stop Warren when he gets moving downhill. I mean, he's got a really strong body, and he also has a pretty tight handle, too. Rose kicks to Kennard. And the three ball is good. Kennard's got the lead up to 11 now for Memphis. A splendid pass that time by Rose. Morris inside. He's covered by Clark. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Uh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. There's Williams with the three. Rebound by Alexander Walker. Timberwolves trail by nine. Anderson passes to Alexander Walker. Six to shoot. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. Those kinds of plays are the ones that get you on the lead and help keep you in front. Get the 
Now here's Rose, guarded by Reed, and he makes that one. Rose has got eight points. Guys, how about the ball handling by Rosette? Showing you a little bit of the back to the future Rose with those moves. And the wide open shot for Morris. Buries the long range jumper. Indeed, just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Rose against Morris. Right side Rose. Buried from 15 feet out. 10 points for him. Boy, you look at Rose and you just love the imagination he brings to his offensive game. You know, this guy's constantly pushing the boundaries of his um, basketball ability. Morris finds Warren. A shot's good on the assist by Morris. Warren's got his second basket of the game. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. After missing nearly two full years due to injury, Greg, isn't it great to see T.J. Warren back out on the floor healthy and hearty? Yeah, and, and Kevin, people forget this guy was the leading scorer for a playoff team before those injuries. He may not be the same player, but he can still provide some instant offense. Here's Anderson. Passes to Alexander Walker. Steps back and fires. Aldama with the rebound. And, guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Rose attacking. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Rose has got 10 points in the quarter. And this is who Rose is. This guy's a warrior, never backing down from an aggressive defense. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Morris against Rose. Down to five on the shot clock. Stolen by Anderson. Here's Alexander Walker. Oh, and the buzzer Peters good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and splashed it. And so we conclude the first half. Grizzlies out in front. They lead by seven. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to... And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. A fantastic game from Derrick Rose in this one. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And on the floor for Chris Finch as we get into the second half. The front court is McDaniels and Towns. Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. And it's Gobert in its center. Back to Morant. Plays it up and banks it in. And it's seven points for John Morant. Morant using that quickness to his advantage. That time he gets that one to fall. And here's Edwards from the arc. It's rebounded by Memphis. Jackson's got four rebounds now tonight. Clark outside. Good and a nice assist from Morant. And now it's a nine-point Memphis lead. Man, if Clark ever hits that shot with consistency, watch out. That, that's a game changer. Edwards passes to Towns. Edwards dishes to McDaniels. Just four to shoot. Williams with the block. Conley against Morant. To the inside. Here's Clark. And the Grizzlies tack on two more. And this is what the coaching staff loves when they watch Clark. Wanting to improve his shooting off the catch. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Morant passes to Bain. Back to Morant. Morant. 
Jackson setting the pick here for Morant. And another basket for Memphis. And you know, we talk so much about Morant's athleticism, but his feel for the game equally as effective. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. Well, the great thing in the NBA is the unknown. On any given night, you don't know who'll come out on top. And even coaches like Steve Kerr know it. He said, it's really hard to win an NBA game. The difference between losing and winning is like that. Kevin? Oh, a, a game of inches, right, David? Just as you're showing us, a game of inches. Thanks. And the basket by Jackson. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. You know, they came out of the locker room revved up the gas pedal and haven't slowed down yet doing all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. And with Towns, we're looking at one of the best three-point shooting big men in the NBA, Clark. He is something to watch. He really is, and when you add in everything else he does, Kevin, he's one of the best players in the league. Period. Clark a screen on Edwards. Morant dishes to Clark. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got four rebounds now tonight for three Edwards. With that miss, he is now four for seven from the field. Memphis leading by ten. So timeout time call here. Time First for Memphis. Start. So Memphis ends up going with the new group. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Aldama finds Kinnar. Back to Aldama. Shoots over Towns. Aldama gets the bucket. Aldama's got the lead up to 12 now for Memphis. The entire defense was frozen footed. Nobody picked up the shooter. Goes up from the top of the key. And again, it's Minnesota converting. 107 left in the third quarter. Rose against Conley. Rose surveying the D. There's the drive. Gobert with the block. So good at finding these spots. Gobert loves reaching out and sending them away. 50 seconds left in the third. Five to shoot. And the pass to Aldama. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Eldama's got four this quarter. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Over in the corner, McDaniels. Connects from three points. Now Rose, 12 points for him. 20 seconds left to play in the third. To the wing on the left. Here's Steffens, McDaniels defending. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Up top, Edwards. So much confidence coming from Anthony Edwards. You can just see it. This is a guy who knows he belongs in the lead and is hungry to be great. It's his first trip to the line. Two shots. And Edwards drops them both. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. We've got Santi Aldama. John Morant, he's out there with Kennard. Then it's Williams. And it's Smart, and it's a small forward. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. And I'm trying to think of how many seven-footers I know with that level floater in their arsenal. 
It's a short roll call list, folks. Timeout called the Grizzlies. And with the fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their muscles, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Jackson's checked in. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Coach Taylor Jenkins talked to his team during the break. Now, they've been happy with the way the team is shooting. He reminded players to keep taking those threes, that they've had some clean looks. And when the three goes in, it's always a welcome sight. Guys? Thanks so much, David. Conley against Morant. Kennard kicks to Smart. Here's Morant. And finished off by Morant. Obviously, Morant has found his flow here, finding plenty of ways to create for himself. The shot by McDaniels, no good. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity on a ride. Right wing. Morant against Conley. Morant right side. Smart wide open. He fired. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Smart's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Edwards against Kinnar. And out of bounds as Memphis gains possession. And this has been a comedy of errors. I mean, you can just add another one to the list. Here's Morant. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Jackson setting the pick here for Morant. Just five on the clock. Good for another basket. He's put up ten shots and made seven of them. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. And you have to stay up on Conley. When you give him breathing room, he's a threat to pull up. Morant against Edwards. Now here's Morant. Defense right on him. And oh, here we go. Conley, nobody back. That three off the mark. You know, the ill-advised threes isn't how you want to close the gap. They've got to have better shot selection. Outside for Smart. Back to Morant. And Morant throws it down. How about the handles from the young fellow? Give Morant credit for taking the initiative and capitalizing. Conley inside the line. Again, Conley missing. And Morant's got the ball here for the Memphis Grizzlies. Nifty move. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Michael Conley picks one up. High effort play by Moran. He refuses to let the foul stop him from getting the shot up. Both free throws, good from Morant. Break for a franchise like Memphis. Is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. I mean, they aren't going to get the huge A-list free agents, so you have to hit on your picks. You also have to keep your guys happy. Sign them to smart extension. So they foul intentionally. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. They've also found a lot of shots at the arc in this one and allowing their good shooters to tee it up. And it's hard to pick a more electrifying player in the league than John Moran. He explodes off the floor. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter. There's a lot of Jackson and the dunk by Jackson. And tonight's battle is going to end with a 
very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for Memphis. The bench gave him a big lift in this game. And listen, Kevin, anytime your reserves can perform at a level that high, it puts you in an excellent position to win the game. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for John Morant. Boy, from a scoring standpoint, he was absolutely sensational. Made the game look easy tonight. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. And here's Conley outside. They get it back. This one for three. No good. Shot missing. The Grizzlies on offense. They're on an 18-7 run. And here's Jackson.
tip-off goes to the Clippers. So the opening lineup here for the Clippers. George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. James Harden out there with Terrence Mann. And it's Zubats in at the five. Court vision on display from Leonard sharing the ball. Big part of his game. Here's Young. Here's Capella. And the slam dunk by Capella. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. Looks like this could be a bounce back here for the Clippers, Brent, after they were knocked out early last season. Yeah, you just shake your head and you think about this team not being healthy and how far they could go. That's part of it, right? No PG or Kawhi late in the series. They're looking for some redemption this year, and you feel like it's their last shot. Great positioning on the putback. Just great positioning to get the rebound and get it back up. Young against Harden. Out to Leonard. Shoots over Capella. Leonard can't get it to go. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey. Force him off the spot. Nice basic one-hander there. Hey, I think he got some extra bounce off the ground on that one. Harden against Young. Out to Leonard. Let's the three fly. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Nice teamwork. The right guy ends up with the ball in his hands. And Kawhi finishes that possession. Young with it. He's picked up by Zubats. A nice shot by Young. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Pass to man. Over Murray. Man misses. The Hawks have gone four to five so far. Looking sharp. Johnson passes to Murray. Six on the shot clock. And a slam dunk by Capella. Well, the open man's out there. You got to feed him, and Murray gets the job done. Harden, the pass to Zubats. Shoots over Capella. And Zubats with the basket on the assist by Harden. Harden's got three assists now in this one. All right, Grant, talking about Avita Zubats, what do you like most about his game? Well, just his defensive presence. I mean, he's willing to challenge shots at the rim, refusing to give anything easy. Pass to Zubats. To the inside, Leonard. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. He can't be reckless guarding Kawhi Leonard. He feels out defenders so well and exploits them when they overcommit. Hunters checked in for Atlanta. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Murray. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Here's Young. Got a hand on it. Terrific defense from Zubats. His team relies on him to help alter shots. There's Bogdanovich with the three. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. Los Angeles has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Harden from outside. The rebound by Bogdanovich. And so it's Bogdanovich with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. They trail by three. Going inside. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. Probing and looking and finding ways. Bogdanovich really in attack mode here tonight. A minute 22 left in the opening quarter. Leonard shots good. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. For Atlanta, they've got six of ten attempts to fall. Outside Bogdanovich. High arcing shot. And the layup is up and in. Nice floater, Bogdanovich. Some room. Got it off. He'll take it. Harden, the pass to Leonard. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Leonard's got 10. You gotta love his unselfishness. And you know his coach does as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him. They appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. Capella, screen on Harden. And again, it's Atlanta. Great to watch Trey Young set plays up on a nightly basis. 
32 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Harden. Out to Leonard. From outside the arc. The rebound by Bogdanovich. The Hawks have got 8 out of 12 shots to fall. They find Bogdanovich. From deep three-point land. Buries it from three. He's got seven. Well, the range for Bogdanovich continues to expand. He's showing real confidence taking the long bombs. The first quarter all wrapped up. And it's been an exciting game so far. Hawks ahead, leading by a point. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Hawks. Well, great play down low. I mean, you expect the defense to adjust, collapse maybe, but that should open up things on the perimeter later in the game. Well, in the early goings, the mid-range shot has also been working well for them. They've been racking up some points off of those jumpers, and those are probably being invited. And so in the game for Los Angeles, Westbrook and Mann make up the backcourt. Daniel Tice is out there with Kawhi Leonard, and it's Tucker in at the three. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. You have to give Paul George a lot of credit. He's willingly accepted a secondary role in the Clippers. He said, quote, Kawhi is the number one. I'm the number two. There is no ego. I'm totally fine with that. I try to compliment him and also take the load off of him. And Brian, when they are both right, there's not a better tandem in the game. Mm, good point. Top tier. Thanks, Alec. Now, not everyone is a superstar when they enter the league. Kongu has really had to fight for it, Brent. Well, he's been waiting, I think, B.A., patiently and doing the work behind the scenes to take advantage of any opportunity that he's given, especially those minutes that he's had to play behind Capella. He's embraced that role, and he's ready for the next step. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. And out of bounds, Atlanta will have it. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Murray deciding where to go with it. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Here's Leonard. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Releases from 15. Yep, that one's good. Murray's gotten his second bucket of the game. And that's where Murray can take his jump shot comfortably in the mid-range. Here's Leonard. Good D by Murray. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Leonard finds some space and buries the jumper to finish off the break. Leonard's gotten four this quarter. Now just a lightning bolt there in transition. No one can match up with Kawhi, especially at his position. That time they pay the price. Pass to Okongwu. It's tipped. And the whistle blew, so that'll be a shooting foul. Hey, great defensive effort there with the block shot, but he got more than just the ball that time. Free throws coming up. Well, Grant is the managing director of the U.S. men's national team. You've gotten to see the wealth of international talent firsthand. It's so true, B.A. I mean, I've got so much respect for the international game. You know, over 25% of the players in the NBA right now are international players, and they produce superstar talents like Doncic, Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic. The U.S. has more competition now than ever. Outside Murray, picked up by a Kongwu. Murray passes to a Kongwu. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. And he drops the first. And so he hits both. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. Westbrook taking his time here. Driving inside. Man, the pass to Tucker. On target from range. Tucker's got himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Murray up top. 
No good there. Good work defensively by Leonard. Timeout called. The Clippers. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. The Clippers making a switch here. Brown's checked in. Los Angeles has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. And it's Westbrook off the drive. Pass to Brown. There's the triple. Hits the trifecta. Brown's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. A Kongu, a screen on Westbrook. Here's Young. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Hawks lead by three. And <laughs> those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Brown drives in. Westbrook finds Tucker. Kick out to Brown. Westbrook outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Brown. The three is up. Nails it from beyond the arc. Brown's got six in the quarter. And Tucker, great job reading the floor and finding a way to set up a ready shooter. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Westbrook. The Hawks have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Here's Bogdanovich with the tip. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. But kongu has got 12 points in the game. Big time effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip-ins are easier to make. And that's a foul called on Onyeka Kongu. That's his first foul. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Zubats, he's checked in for Tice. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Brown. Paul George, he's checked in for Tucker. And it's Harden in for Russell Westbrook. And yep, it's good. It's impressive how Harden makes room inside. He finds a way to navigate the shots. Akangu, a screen on Harden. Young. Oh, the dunk by Akangu! <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. George scanning the floor. Just four to shoot. And the jam by George. Paul George dunk contest? Eh, maybe a little older. But I love to see him get up. Onyeka Kongwu, he's been the guy making things happen for Atlanta. Absolutely carrying the offense. He ends the quarter with 14. Back to the game after this break. in that first half we saw a pretty tight battle we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime it's been quite a game for Anyeka Kongwu through two quarters of play he's been an excellent source of points yeah he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. young runs point with Bogdanovich at the two Hunter in Bay holding down the forward spots. And it's Capella in at the center position. That's the five to begin the second half for Quinn Snyder. Leonard for three. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got six assists in the game. Kawhi typically solid from three. You're not sure you want to leave him open like that. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Brian, the Clippers next season will inaugurate their futuristic new home court in Englewood, designed to give fans every comfort. And the Clippers a distinct advantage as well. Along the baseline, 5,000 fans will fill 51 uninterrupted rooms. The section, nicknamed The Wall, is acoustically designed to be loud. So, Brian, you better get ready. <laughs> Turn it up. Thanks, Allie. Capella screen on Harden. Here's Young. Buried from 15 feet out. 
Young's got eight. Well, if you overplay Trey Young, he will go right by you. He's going to make that adjustment. And one thing you like about Capella, he really understands who he is as a player. Well, this guy is the definition of a rim runner, protects the rim and rebounds. He does all the dirty work for this team, and he's willing to do that. That's how he makes his living. To the paint. Here's the paint. It counts! And the foul! It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. And that's Bay sticking with the play and enduring the foul. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Leonard on the take. Oh, look out! Here comes Kawhi! <laughs> this game has been like a seesaw. Both teams going back and forth at one another. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. And that one's good. Young. Young working hard on the defensive end that time. Los Angeles has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Harden against Young. Pass to Zubac. Now here's George. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one on Capella. When you think about Paul George, still regarded as an elite two-way player, Brent. Yeah, you get that dynamic play on the offensive end where he's capable of 35 points any given night, but defensively shutting down a team's perimeter all-star, that is rarefied air for a star player in this league. Young looking over the floor from the top of the key. It's good. He's 6 for 12 from the floor. Here in the second half, this game's still nip and tuck. <laughs> Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. Bay against Leonard. Five to shoot. Puts it up from 17. That misses. He's 7 for 14 on the night. And here's Capella. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. They lead by one. Oh, solid D from Leonard. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. It's good on the putback. Zubats does a great job of sniffing out offensive rebounds and beats his guy to the spot. Left side, Young. Plenty of room to knock down that one. Young's got 10 points in the quarter. The Clippers have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. And they go to the intentional foul. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Third quarter action, and just under three and a half minutes have passed. And it's Westbrook off the drive. And here's Brown for three. Atlanta with a rebound. Capella's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Bufkin, pounded by Westbrook. Outside Johnson. Murray against George. Murray, no good. The Clippers trail. Pass to man. 56 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Here's George. Doesn't go that time. Capella with the defensive effort. It's Johnson with a drive. Deflected. Outside, Brown. Drills it from deep. Brown's got nine points. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Bufkin with the bucket. The Clippers have gotten five of ten shots to go. 19 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Brown. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. He's got 11. It's a solid pass off the pick and roll. Part of Westbrook's game, he's really developed. Johnson on the wing. Pass to Bufkin. Murray with it. For three. Sinks the tray. And it's been punch, counterpunch between these two today. A big time effort for Trey Young, providing a lot of energy for the Hawks. He put together. 
Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. But this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the floor for the Clippers. Filling out the wings, it's Mann and George. Kawhi and Zubats make up the front court. And it's Harden in at the point guard position. Here's Zubats. And another shot. And he lays it in. Cutting into this lead. They're well within striking distance. They're just much sharper out there. You can see guys getting in tune. It's not about playing harder. Sometimes it's just about playing smarter. That one falls. And the Hawks lead by one. The IQ showing up here as Murray uses that pick to get free. Kicks it to George. 4-3. Nails it from three. And defensively, how do you leave them that open in crunch time? And for the Hawks, they're shooting great. 62% for the field and continuing to get it done. Outside Murray. To the middle. Outside Johnson. Just five on the clock. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Huge putback. This guy plays with so much energy. I don't know anybody that goes after the boards harder. Griffin against George. And he makes it on the layup. George has got five points now in the quarter. Staying strong when dealing with that contact. Nice work from PG. Here's Murray. It's deflected. Leonard looking around over Johnson. And the Clippers again with a bucket. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Clippers. Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. Well, something else that has stood out is their up-tempo offense. And these guys have been on the track all game long. They're creating high percentage looks getting out there on the fast break. And a new group getting ready for the Hawks. The Clippers have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. Clippers fast. And here's Bogdanovich. Outside Young. Back to Bogdanovich. No good. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Here's Harden into the lane. And Harden with the slam. Oh, can you say important bucket by Harden? James always wants the ball in these moments. You love it. Hey, with a screen. Young with it, and it's Leonard picking him up. Young against Leonard from about 19. Young misses. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Hart drawing the double team. Beyond the arc. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Yes, yeah, so much of Harden's work happens at the top of the key. But he can also work you over from the corners. Bay with a screen on Harden. Down low. And the talk by Bay. Oh, man, Bay needed that one, and so did the team. And it's Leonard with the ball for Los Angeles. It's a five-point game. Outside Harden. Out to Leonard. This one for three. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Outside Young. And some very quick points for him on that possession. And here we go. Trey Young doing his thing. Cooking with grease right now. Young against Harden. One eleven left in the fourth. Shot clock at five. Pulls it in from the elbow. Hunter with the rebound. For Atlanta, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Oh, he nails it! And now they trail by just four! Oh, big time.
time from DeAndre Hunter letting it all hang out. Harden against Young. And slammed it home. And a foul. A chance at another point at the line. It's going to go on Bogdan Bogdanovich. That's good from Harden. Such a versatile guard. James Harden is a triple-double threat every single night. A Kongwu, a screen on Harden. Count it! And now they trail by just four. That is why Trey Young has the ball. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Harden scanning the floor. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Crafty move, and Harden with the slam. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. It's in. Trey Young comes up huge this time, looking like the go-to guy. And now we've got an intentional foul. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. And he's able to hit the second one. And that gives him a four-point cushion. Atlanta calls timeout. They're losing by four. Eight seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. All right, guys, what do you think? Score quick, then foul. Then you have to hope for some missed free throws. Yeah, this, this won't be easy, so a, a little bit of luck will go a long way for them to get back in. There's Young with the three.
positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the point guard. Six on the shot clock. And the dunk by Tatum. Oh, this is how aggressive Tatum is. Excellent job of getting to the rim and a finish. Just light work. That's a two from Towns. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. And I have no clue how he got that one to fall. Pulling some magic in the midair and torturing the defense in the process. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's his first foul. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Holiday against Conley. Passes it to Towns. Nice D from Porzingis. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. RJ, a guy who will completely take over a game. Jason Tatum. Yeah, he's got a deep bag. He's got an incredible talent, and every year he works to add to it. Now here's Gobert. Shot clock at six. The putback, and it's Towns on the follow. And Towns is solid at getting strong position on the glass. Terrific work. The kick out to Holiday. Fires the three. And Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Edwards finds Towns. Right side, Conley. And the layup is good. Oh, what a feed right there. Towns' vision is really off the charts. Stolen by McDaniels. Conley, the pass to Towns. And that one falls, coming off Conley's feet. Towns has got six. It looked like he was playing against his little brother out there, the way he just went right over him with his height. Outside Holiday. Out to White. Celtics passing it around. To end the run. Six to shoot. And there's the bucket from Tatum. Proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. Edwards. And Edwards with the stuff. And what a creative finisher. Edwards is so fast in how he gets up to throw it down. And the shot goes in from Chris Stapps, Porzingis. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Now here's Towns. He's got six. Here's McDaniels from down in the low post. It goes. Man, he's a pure point guard with terrific vision. Conley finds open teammates at times before they realize they're open. The shot by Holiday, no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Gobert with the screen on White. Edwards against White. Out left to the wing. There's McDaniels. And there are the Timberwolves with another button. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm and you can see how they're finishing their play right about that right about. seems like they haven't missed timberwolves leading by eight oh richard the celtics an excellent defensive team very disciplined yeah you don't see them gamble for a lot of steals they do a great job of just staying connected and challenging shots without foul Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Yeah, they haven't appeared in a rush at all. They are just playing to their strengths and building this lead out well. Now here's Porzingis. Brown outside. Boston. No good that time either. 43 seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Towns. Out to Edwards. Back to Towns. From past the arc, 
It's good from long range. Towns has got nine points. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on the offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Kept alive, and Gobert kicks to Towns. Misses the three. And so we'll be right back. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Timberwolves. They've started the game the right way, penetrating the defense and attacking the rim. They're just not settling. You also have to admire how they've challenged the defense inside, getting a lot of points in the paint. Horn is out there with Nas Reed. Then there's Kyle Anderson. Then it's Morris. And it's Alexander Walker in at the two spot. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Timberwolves. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. And it's blocked. Austin shooting their first foul shot of the game. Greg, there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to poor defense, or is it to the rising talent level? Listen, teams are still defending, uh, and the rules might have helped some. There is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding, but these guys are scoring from all over the court and doing things we've just never seen before. Timberwolves leading by six. We're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. The jump hook. Pass to Anderson. And the wide open shot from Warren. Here's Alexander Walker. Three pointer. Warren, good. Warren's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Love the confidence from Warren on the catch and shoot. Coaches don't want to see their players hesitate. Three-pointer, Horford. Busted. No good that time either. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. That bucket in in no time at all. Oh, heads up play by Warren. Spotting that wide open shooter and delivering a dime. The Celtics working the ball around now. Fast break, Minnesota. Here's Morris. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. This is his first free throw of the game. And he sinks the second. Celtics trail by 13. Here's Horford. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. T.J. Warren picks one up. Richard, you know, some guys just seem to improve with age. And Al Horford is one of them. Yeah, kind of like Brooke Lopez. Horford's become such an excellent three-point shooter. Keeps himself in top condition. And everyone around him is better at both ends. The Celtics have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Stolen by Warren. Morris outside. Out to the right wing. To the middle. Plenty of space. Uses the glass to drop it in. Warren's got the lead up to 14 now for the Timberwolves. Showing some assertiveness inside. Warren knows you can't beat the defense if you play scared. Morris with the ball. Five on the clock, and it's Monte Morris with the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Celtics trail by 14. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much, Kevin. Now, in recent years, the league has flattened the lottery odds and created the play-in tournament to keep more teams motivated. Commissioner Adam Silver knows some teams are in a development phase, but doesn't want to see maneuvering for better draft picks. He says teams are smarter, they're creative, and they respond. We move, 
they move. Kevin? Just like that. D.A., thank you. The kick out to Warren. Morris outside. Pass to Alexander Walker. Oh, the lob to go here. Hammers the alley-oop through. And sometimes it's as simple as this. Throw it up anywhere near Gobert, and he's going to finish it. Back to Horford. There's the pass to Pritchard. And there's the foul. It's on Peyton Pritchard. That'll be his second foul of the game. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejection. Wow. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Here's Alexander Walker. Passes it to Morris. The kick out to Anderson. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Anderson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. So the Celtics called timeout their first. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. So it's Boston now. It's a 16-point game. Pass to Persingas. The kick out to Brown. Fires the three. Anderson with the block. For Minnesota, they have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. Nas Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. Timberwolves leading by 17. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. That's fine. You love the effort, not making things easy for the opposition on offense. Now, here is Morris. 17-point lead, their biggest. Outside Warren. He kicks it to Anderson. Lock at six. Back to Warren. It's stolen by Brown. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. And White slams it in. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. Pass to Alexander Walker. Back to Warren. It's hauled in by Persingas. Tatum taking it in. Oh. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You look at Downs, he's really been playing well. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. The question now is will the defense keep letting him punish them inside? Or did Coach have some new ideas for them? Starting off the second half, here's Joe Missoula's five. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Porzingis is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point. And the dunk by Brown. Say it with your chest, young fella. Jalen Brown with the strong finish. Timberwolves leading by 14. Surely one of the top players in the NBA. But Jalen Brown has many other interests outside of basketball. Yeah, he likes to keep those brain muscles just as in shape as he is. He spends a lot of time playing piano, chess, doing yoga, and reading to keep himself sharp. Porzingis with the block. And with that 7-6 wingspan, Porzingis has always been a big-time shot block. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. White with it. Conley picks him up. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Anderson, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Minnesota's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. It's Edwards on the wing. 
help to McDaniel. And Brown over to help. Conley kicks to Anderson. Back to Conley. Timberwolves passing it around. A nice shot by McDaniel. Buckets coming in bunches right now. He is just being big time. Tatum finds Holiday. Back to Tatum. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. That's now eight points for Jason Tatum. How about the balance from Tatum? Absorbing the contact, it just doesn't matter. He takes it like a champ. And how about the athleticism from Towns there? Skying up with ease to power through on that alley-oop. Surprising he didn't bury that, but hey, it happens sometimes. Now the pass to McDaniels. Kicks to Edwards. This is to Conley. And times the bucket on the assist by Conley. Conley's got his eighth assist in the game. Timeout call for Celtics. Now Horford is checked in for the Celtics. Celtics trail by 21. And Holiday kicks to Horford. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns has got his fifth rebound in this one. He dishes it to Edwards. Takes the 13-footer. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And it's the size and mobility of town that makes it so hard to deal with, especially when he's looking to score. That one is no good. And so Horford will bring it up for Boston. Puts up a deep three. And it's out of bounds. Well, they say it was last touch by Brown. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. A double team Conley to the wing right side. Nick Daniels finds Conley. Edwards looking it over. Just five to shoot. Anderson with the screen for Edwards. Offensive rebound. Out to Conley. Back to Anderson. Up top, Edwards. Right covering. Edwards can't hit. See, that miss, that miss right there, it's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. Knowing it's his responsibility to find open teammates. Holiday, nice job setting the table there. Holiday brings the double team. Back to Conley. There's a minute left to play in the third. Taken away by Holiday. White dishes to Brown. And Holiday kicks to White. Poke loose. Stolen by McDaniels. Driving to the basket. Back to Edwards. Passes it to McDaniels. Over Horford. Another miss by Minnesota. Well, the defense didn't have any impact on that shot, but somehow he still misses it. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. There's Brown with the three. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got four assists in the game. Here's Anderson. Outside Conley. Pass to Edwards. With four seconds on the clock. And the layup is up and in. An agile move off the contact by Edwards. Getting to his shot despite the difficult defense. It's been all about Carl Anthony Towns for Minnesota. He notched eight points in the quarter. And how about a look now at our assist of the game. Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. 
And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. The wing set for him, Edwards and McDaniels. Anderson is out there with Towns, and it's Conley in at the one. So that's the Timberwolves' five. Celtics trail by 17. Horford kicks to Brown. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Persingas. Stolen by McDaniels. And oh, here we go. Conley, nobody back. Nailed from three-point land. And the Timberwolves lead by 20. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Timberwolves. They've been defending with excellent anticipation all game long. Just look at how many times they've managed to get their hands on the ball. And also, they, they continue to take advantage on the offensive glass. Those extra possessions paying off in second chance points. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Minnesota. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. That's to Persingas. The feed now to Tatum. Outside, White. Now the dish to Holiday. The kick out to Tatum. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Well, Tatum is the obvious option for the catch and shoot. He's such an efficient scorer. Towns is doubled. The pass to Gobert. Passes to McDaniels. Now Towns. Back to McDaniel. He feeds it to Edwards. And stolen by White. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one is on Towns. Love the aggression from Brown. A tough cover for any defender out there. And Brown drops them both. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Timberwolves leading by 18. Towns, the pass to Edwards. Towns, a screen on White. Spins. Edwards drawing the double team. Six to shoot. Conley kicks to Edwards. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. And Conley gets it to go. The assist from Edwards. Conley's got nine points now in just the second half. Feeds it to Tatum. 13 feet away. Count that one. Over the years, Tatum has limited the amount of mid-range jumpers that he takes, but it is still a natural part of his game. McDaniels finds Conley. Now here's McDaniels. Conley left side. They double-team Conley. Looking for McDaniels. He gets it there. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And, and Gobert knows his role on this team. Rebound, block shots, and look to score near the basket. So he comes up empty at the line. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. And Holiday kicks to Persingas. Pass to White. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Basket counts. Tatum's got seven points here in this quarter. See, this is what Tatum is capable of. Look, look, he is a sensational scorer. Like, we understand that. He gets into a rhythm. Woo. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And that's now 19 points for Carl Anthony Towns. Conley against Holiday. Pass to Tatum. Fires from deep, and the Celtics hit again from deep. An accurate shooter from distance. Tatum's teammates want him to keep looking to pull the trigger. Down low. Over in the corner, McDaniels. Here's White. Shots good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his fourth assist in this one. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Timberwolves. Great, generous ball movement tonight. A thing of you. Yeah, a remarkable team effort. They got everyone involved. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Conley. 
and his playmaking is what stood out to me, effortlessly creating for his teammates. Towns kicks to Conley. 54 seconds left in the fourth quarter. For the three. Offensive rebound. Outside Edwards. The three-pointer off the mark. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. It's a shame, really. If they've been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. And there's the pass to McDaniels.
see a lot of ball movement tonight. Hey, sharing is caring. And of course, there's great chemistry on both teams. There's such a flow to this game when they get together. And we're going to see some terrific team basketball tonight. I can't wait. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. Filling out the wings, it's Mann and George. Kawhi and Zubats make up the front. Oh, Whoa, wow. wait a second. As creative as they come, John Moran has a style that's specifically his. And it's Harden penetrating from deep. And George gets it to go on the assist by Harden. George has got five points. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Here's Moran. And he drops in the layup off the glass. An explosive leaper. Ja has no problems with scoring down low. Harden against Moran. Now here's Harden. Tightly guarded. The three. George. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Up top, Harden. Pounded by Moran. Harden drives in. And stolen by Williams. Here's Moran. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. James Harden picks one up. I like when Ja forces the issue, especially in close where he's fearless. It had been a long time since Murray State had produced an NBA star. Ja Morant changed that narrative. B.A., he certainly did. He's now the highest average scorer in the NBA out of Murray State. This dude is an animal, a walking bucket, if you will. I mean, with the ball in his hands, Harden's as creative as anyone. Kicks it out to Jackson. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Pass to man. Shoots. And the Clippers again with a bucket. And remember, James Harden is usually a front runner in the league in assists. He has great vision. Here's Moran. Sinks another one. He's on a roll, starting four for four. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Leonard outside. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. You can see the work Kawhi has put into his ball handling. He gets separation almost any time he wants. Outside Bain from downtown. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Woo, he got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Harden, the pass to Leonard. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Leonard's got his second basket. Contact, no problem for Leonard. He's a guy who cannot be rattled. Kicks it out to Jackson. And again, it's Memphis with a three. He's got a sweet stroke from long range. Plenty of bigs do now. Harden against Moran. Shot is up. Again, the Clippers score. Such an aggressive offensive player. Harden is ready to shoot whenever he's got the rock. And here's Moran outside. Ooh, he's locked in. Drains his fifth shot in his many attempts. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. First Here's George. Give him eight. Out to Leonard. And stolen by Williams. He set that trap up perfectly. I mean, he had the inside out pass scouted and jumped right on it. Pass to Jackson. Morant surveying the floor. And then Morant with the jam. Don't look now. John Morant is on one. Feels like everything is falling. 
Williams against George. Just five on the clock. Here he goes. Banked it in off the glass. George has got ten. Good body control by Paul George. Shakes off the contact and gets the points. Moran against Harden. Outside Morant. Williams finds Morant. Launches a three. What a play! He drains it at the buzzer! What a huge shot to beat the buzzer. My goodness. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. More 2K action in just a moment. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that high. And the other thing you notice is how determined they've been to get into the paint and get buckets around the rim. Jaron Jackson out there with Brandon Clark. Then it's Luke Kennard. Then there's Derrick Rose. And it's Williams in at the small forward position. That's the group for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, Brian, durability is a focus for Ja Morant. He said, quote, the number one thing is being available, working on my body to get stronger and on the court being way more consistent with my shooting so I don't have to go back to the rack, absorb all that contact, and hit the floor every single time. Brian? Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, Allie. The nuances that Kawhi has added to his game. That time, the little up fake. All right, Smitty, as a basketball fan, who are your favorite players to watch? Well, it's a long list, B.A. I love Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, Draymond Green and that crew. LeBron James, of course. And some of the younger guys, Anthony Edwards. And obviously the Joker, Nikola Jokic. And also Giannis. And the list goes on and on. Here's Rose. Back to Clark. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Tremendous vision D. Rose has. Always finding ways to make an impact. On the wing man. From behind the arc. And the shot's off. One for two in this one. Memphis has gone six of six from downtown thus far. Rose with it. He's picked up by Westbrook. And again, it's Memphis with a three. When Kennard is that set up, he almost can't miss. Such a skilled shooter. Westbrook taking his time here. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. And so it's Rose with it. He brings it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. He's got a piece of it. And the first one at the line is good. The 2023 postseason didn't go as the Grizzlies had envisioned it, Smitty. Yeah, a first-round departure. B.A., I think inexperience and overconfidence got the better of them. A veteran Lakers team was able to put them away. Here's Westbrook. And finished off by Westbrook. Calling his own number, Russ is as confident a player as you will find. Westbrook against Rose. Jackson the screen. Rose the pass to Jackson. And they pick up two. Jackson's got eight points. The speed of Derrick Rose off pick and rolls is an issue for the defense. Nice job by him coming off and finding his guy. The Clippers have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Aldama's checked in for Jaron Jackson Jr. And it's Marcus Smart in for Williams. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Coffee. he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. Westbrook, that's good. Check out Russell utilizing his range and making the most of that look. 
Rose against Westbrook. Smart left side. The three ball. Westbrook with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Coffee, the pass to Tucker. Driving in. And the basket by Coffee. And now it's just a four point Grizzly lead. Wow, the vision of PJ Tucker made that play possible. Here's Rose. And that one drops. Rose has got four points now in the quarter. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Here's Westbrook. Grizzlies with the rebound. A minute four left in the half. Westbrook against Rose. Count it. Good. And now an eight-point Memphis lead. Derrick Rose inside is a treat to watch because watch how high he gets off the floor. Westbrook into the lane. Let's it fly. And Tucker gets it to go. Coach is loving the ball movement. Grant, they could attempt a two-for-one here. They could. The key here is a good look. Rose, the pass to Kennard. Clark with the screen. Let's go with a three. And Kennard with the three. Kennard's got eight points. Outstanding decision. Kennard is getting better and better at creating offense for himself. Westbrook against Rose. Let's it go from deep. And the Clippers hit again from deep. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. And there's the foul. It'll go on Derrick Rose. That'll be a second foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Outside Harden. And so it's Memphis with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Oh, a fantastic game from Ja Moran in this one. What makes him an exciting player is the ultra-aggressive mindset that we saw over and over in the first half. And not standing around, not settling for perimeter shots. He's looking to attack. Checking out the group for Ty Lu to start the second half. George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. James Harden out there with Norman Powell. And it's Zubats in at the center, locking down the middle. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. And when you're looking for guys with MVP traits, Smitty, the light really shines on Ja Moran. It does, B.A. Like all the great ones do, Ja can completely take over a game. Elite skills, elite athleticism. He's got a sixth sense for this game. Williams has checked in for Memphis. Jackson comes in for Aldama. Three-pointer, Harden. Fires in the triple. Harden's got eight points. Great floor awareness. Powell knows how to find his open teammates. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Brian, there's a youthful exuberance in the Grizzlies locker room that some say more resembles a college team. Jaron Jackson Jr. said, quote, everybody listens to the same music, does the same things, watches the same stuff. We all vibe together and we like hanging around each other and it translates. Brian? Oh, you like that connection. Allie, thank you. Just an all-star level talent. I mean, stopping Harden from scoring is almost an impossible task at times. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for Memphis. Smart for three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. The defense decides to gamble off him, and he cashes in. Here's Leonard. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Aggressive play from Kawhi Leonard. 
drawing the foul and still taking his shot. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. From deep, Moran. Oh, a bomb from John. Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there, and he's been relentless. Here's Leonard. Ten points for him. Shot clock at six. Jacks up a three. Oh, Leonard laces it in from distance. There's Kawhi with the answer triple. Leonard is so competitive. Moran against Harden. And then Moran with the dunk. Oh, excellent way to pad the lead. Yeah, especially when it's your one throwing it down like that. It sends a message that we're going to be aggressive no matter who's taking the shot. Leonard for three. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. The claw making it look so easy right now. He's demanding the ball, and you see why. Pass to Jackson. Back to Morant. Williams with the screen. Williams on the wing. All alone. And another basket for Memphis. As the point guard, this is Ja's responsibility. Nice job finding the open man. Zubats with a screen on Morant. Harden, the pass to Zubats. It's stolen by Smart. And the Grizzlies pushing it up now. Williams from long range. That's good. And it's Smart with the assist. And now it's an eight-point Grizzly lead. A great decision from Smart. He's all about doing what's best for the team. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. So for the Clippers, Tice is checked in for Zubats. Tucker comes in for Leonard. And it's Westbrook in for Harden. The Clippers have gone 4-4 four four in this third quarter. Perfect so far. The drive by Powell. Here's Tucker. Hands it from the wing. Offensively, Tucker's role is a spot-up jump shooter. Outside Morant. Outside Bain. Outside for Morant. Second chance shot. Pass to Smart. Jackson outside. The three-pointer off the mark. Los Angeles has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Tucker finds Powell. And that one's good. And now just a four-point Memphis lead. Keeping his balance on the difficult tape, Norman Powell is gifted at finishing through physical contact. Kicks it out to Jackson. Over Tucker. And there's Jackson on the assist by Moran. Jackson's got 10. And I love how he's pushing the tempo and creating for others. He does this game in and game out. Incredible. You know what it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. Westbrook outside. Powell outside. Pass to George. And the three off target. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Westbrook against Rose. Clark with a screen on Westbrook. Rose, the pass to Clark. Back to Rose. Again, the Grizzlies. Good for two more. Just another day at the office. D. Rose knows when and where to get his points. George drives in. It's Powell on the wing. There's Tice with a three. Smart grabs a miss. So it's Memphis up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. The flow of the game. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Santi Aldama out there with Marcus Smart. Then there's Derrick Rose. Then it's Brandon Clark. And it's Kennard in at the shooting guard position. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. 
Rose against Harden. Rose outside. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. A fan favorite in this league. Rose's hard work and perseverance through injuries speaks volumes. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Williams is checked in for Clark. Jackson comes in for Aldama. And it's Bain in for Kennard. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Second personal foul. First team foul. Harden finds Leonard. I mean, as a defender, Jaron Jackson, he has it all. Quick to the ball, provides great rim protection, and he never gives up on plays. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Timeout called. Memphis. At this point in the game, fourth quarter, it's always important to stay focused. And while the coach goes over the plans, these players are getting a much-needed chance to get hydrated with some Gatorade. Ja Morant, he's checked in for Memphis. All right, let's get a report from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Taylor Jenkins had to say to his team. And they told their team, no easy threes. Let's guard that arc. Don't let anyone get an open look. With the lead, they want to close this one out with their perimeter defense. Let's see if they do, Brian. And Allie, thank you for that. The quickness of John ja Morant is what makes his drives deadly. Where did he go? Leonard, right side. From the arc. Yes. And a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got seven assists in the game. Yeah, he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. The reason why is not just scoring. It's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. Jackson. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. I just love the way Jaron finishes inside with either hand. The defense can't really take everything away. Here's Harden. It's George on the wing. Over Bain. Again, the Clippers score. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Moran against Harden. Outside Moran. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Zubats. Los Angeles has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Leonard. And the Clippers again with a bucket. No doubt in my mind that Kawhi Leonard shoots with the utmost confidence. Now Morant. Morant with the slam! A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. Harden scanning the floor. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Clever move by Harden. He pulls up fast before the defense can react accordingly. And he commits the intentional foul. Second personal foul. Second team foul. There's a minute 54 left to play in the fourth quarter. Kicks it out to Jackson. Back to Smart. Jackson with a screen on George. Down to five on the shot clock. That's good from Jackson on the assist from Smart. Jackson's got four points this quarter. Not just a floor spacer with the jump shot. Jaren solid also from the mid-range. Pass to Leonard. Fires the three. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. And it's John Morant with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. Leonard against Jackson. Leonard passes to George. They get the rebound. Out to Leonard. Second chance effort. And he drives in. And he lays it up and in. Leonard's got 23. Trying to ice this one. Kawhi showing his evolution as a closer. A three from Bain. Sends it home from three-point land. And the Grizzlies lead by nine. Imagine how much bigger this lead might be if he were a little more selfish. 
Kicks it to George. Launches it. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. No moment is ever too big for Paul George. He remains confident in the clutch. Harden against Moran. Moran with the slam! Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. George. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Whether it's on the ball or off, Jaron Jackson has shown great awareness and timing as a shot blocker. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. And so Moran will bring it up for the Grizzlies. They held a 12-point lead earlier, and so they foul intentionally. He hits the first one, and that increases the lead to six. You know, some of John Moran's sequences remind you of a young Derrick Rose. He's that explosive. Good job. Want to keep fueling that lead. Make your free throws. Harden misses. And here's Jackson.
demonstrate an edge in this department. Yeah, both teams pound the boards. It's clear these coaching staffs push for their guys to attack the glass. So this one's going to be physical. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis, and it's Holiday in a point guard. Here's Johnson. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Well, you won't see that kind of shot fall very often. Thank your lucky stars. Young against Holland. And Derek White picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Johnson kicks to Murray. That one falls coming off Johnson's feet. Murray always working to develop a consistent jump shot. Looking good on that one. Here we are, Greg, watching Atlanta. This team has a lot of firepower. And some great scores, Kevin. They don't just launch threes. They like to work for good shots inside the arc as well. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Young. Holiday with the block. An aggressive defender who pressures ball handlers. Nobody should be surprised to see Holiday sending shots away. Tatum's shot is off. The Hawks have gone two for four from the field so far today. Young pass to Capella. Oh, and the jam by Capella. It doesn't get any easier than this. Capella's work ethic is what allows him to get those dunks. Porzingis, a kick out to Brown. Porzingis sets the pick for Brown. Drills it from outside. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Holiday against Young. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. And that's Capella getting rewarded for his effort on the glass. Love when that kind of hustle pays off. Here's White. And White with the stuff. I'd say that shot is well within his range. <laughs> I would hope so. Here's Young. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You know, you, you can't be overzealous inside when you guard Young. You got to be better at contesting without foul. Snow for the Hawks. Hunter comes in for Johnson. And it's Bogdanovich in for DeJounte Murray. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Left side Tatum. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Young outside. Outside Bogdanovich. Carries it from three-point range. And this is why Bogdanovich has a permanent green light from the arc. Frankly, the team expects this from him. Fires from the wing. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Young pass to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. And how about the find by Trey? Making sure he keeps his teammates involved. And you talk about a tough matchup, Doris, for teams against this one. Kristaps Porzingis. He is a tough cover. Yeah, listen, Kev, this guy has that rare combination of both size and skill, increasingly more efficient, and when he's healthy, he's really been a problem. Young dishes to Capella. Porzingis with the block. A swat by Porzingis, that wingspan, letting you know he's in the house. One oh seven left in the first quarter. 
The 19-foot shot. The rebound by the Celtics. Here's Holiday, and Holiday throws it down. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. How young. And here's Bay. Bay with a screen on Holiday. Here's Young. That one doesn't drop. Excellent D there from Holiday. The Celtics have gone six of nine, shooting it well. And the dunk by Tatum. You see the level of verticality that Jason Tatum brings to the table. <laughs> nice. Bay with the screen for Young to the inside. And it's rebounded by Drew Holiday. Austin's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. The pass to Persingas. Here's White. No good with the triple. That shot, no good. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. Celtics 16. out in front. The They're up by one. 16. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stats wise? An impressive start. They came in with a well conceived game plan and have executed. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. On the court for the Celtics, they've got Horford, and it's Hauser in at the three. Pass to Hauser. Outside, Horford. No good from outside. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Trey Young has been talking smack from a young age. He said, if I was doing something nice, I wanted to let them know about it. Once he got to the NBA, Trey says, I was more of a fan of the guys I was going against. Once I got out of that mindset and started being competitive, talking a little trash, that's when everything clicked. Kevin? <laughs> David, not shy at all. Thank you. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. And taken away by Johnson. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. And slam dunk by Johnson. Oh, and he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Kai Luke passes to Hauser. The three. A three-pointer is right on target. And they've got to talk to you, each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. Johnson outside. ADB as players establish themselves, gaining that respect and recognition always seems to come down to postseason success, right? Playoff success. It's so true, Kevin, whether it's fair or not. Great production in the regular season without having accompanying success in the postseason tends to get written off. So the pressure falls on teams to win or risk losing their star players. Clock at four. Here's Pritchard. And again, Boston with the triple. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Inside, Johnson. And it's Johnson with the jam. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. Over to the left wing. Here's Hauser, defended by Griffin. Here's Pritchard. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Al Horford is such a tremendous passer as a big man. Wow, does he get work done offensively. Here's Bufkin. Nothing on the board. To the paint. Here's Okongwu. And it's Okongwu slamming it down. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it's seesawed back and forth. Unbelievable. Into the lane. Akai Luke passes to Cornette. And 
and he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. <laughs> How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. That three-point shooting sets up every aspect of Jalen Brown's game. What a pretty shot. Bay with a screen on Holiday. Young looking around to the middle. Here's Bay. The kick out to Young. Another three for Atlanta. And defensively, you have to stay connected to Young at all times. Right side, Berzingis. The Celtics working the ball around now. And here's Tatum for three. Atlanta with the rebound. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Pass to Okongwu. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Przingis. For Atlanta, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And just last season, they were at about 82% from the free throw line. So those numbers are always going to be positive. Holiday against Young. The kick out to Tatum. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Tatum's got eight points. Boy, that jumper is as pure as it gets. Jason Tatum off a pass from his teammate makes easy work of it. Out to the wing. Here's Bay. Here's Okongwu, and it's Okongwu slamming it down. That's what we call a power finish. There's no such thing as gentle for the big man. Master Brown takes it inside, jacks up a three, and the last second attempt does not go in for him. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Hawks lead by one. It's thank time you. now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. Dave All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. And so Young will bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. They lead by one. In the post, it's Bay and Capella. The guard set is Young and Bogdanovich. And it's Hunter in at the three, the small four. So that's the Hawks five. Right there, you, you see it. Young's ability to operate out of that pick and roll. Very advanced for a player of his age. And Holiday kicks to Horford. And a miss there on the triple. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Capella, the best to Hunter. The shot from the low post is good. Hunter's got the lead up to five now for Atlanta. Awesome concentration there. When Hunter's committed to scoring, he's hard to stop. The kick out to Brown. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got three assists in the game. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, there was quite a bit of shakeup in the Hawks front office last season amid rumors of discord. Jante Murray said, there's a lot of noise, but at the end of the day, winning takes care of it all. So we need to control what we can control, continue to come together as brothers, and try to go out and win basketball games. Kevin, back to you. All right, that's all they can do. David, thanks. We talk about high effort players. Well, Derek White embodies that very description. Always working hard, always looking to outwork his opponent. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Here's Young driving inside. It's good on the putback. And the Hawks lead by five. Wow, what a finish. That's why Capella makes the big bucks. Clint can control the area around the rim as good as anyone. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. 
Holiday against Young. Out to the right wing. Capella finds Young. Hunter with it. With the tip. Young on the follow. Young's got six in the quarter. Oh, how about the hustle right there by Young? I like seeing him active on the offensive glass. Outside, Horford. From outside, off the mark. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Well, this guy is a consistent shot block threat. Out Horford twice on the pipes. Celtics trail by seven. Now here is Holiday. Brown outside. Hits it from three-point range. Brown's got 11 points. Oh, the defense has to stay attached to him on the perimeter. Two minutes. And the pass to Bay, and stolen by Horford. One-on-one, -on -one fast break, and intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not He's sure. A, a scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Here's Persingas. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And now, just a two-point Atlanta lead. Scoring through contact is something Kristaps Porzingis has got to get used to in the NBA. Teams try to get physical with this guy. Griffin, no one around him. Horford with the rebound. Boy, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. Porzingis kicks to Horford. Holiday left side. Pass to Porzingis. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one is on Holiday. The Atlanta shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Celtics trail by four. Cornett passes to Pritchard. And there's the drive. And Horford wide open. He shoots. Off target from three-point range. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Here's Bufkin. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. Here's Pritchard. He's got nine. Bowser the pass to Horford. Here's Pritchard. Traps in the tray. Pritchard. Pritchard's got 12. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. Atlanta shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. At the line for your free throw, good. Matthews. Wes Matthews, the prototypical 3 and D guy, an amazing perimeter scorer who loves playing on the defensive end. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Pass to Walsh. Four seconds left, and he goes in for the dunk. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. The sure GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. The Hawks have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. And the second free throw, good. And he makes all three. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game so far. Hawks on top, up three. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Porzingis is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the one spot. 
Now Matthews with the fantastic jump right, right in the eye of the defender. Here's Tatum. Called on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. How about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. And the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. What impresses me about Jason Tatum are his work habits, his commitment in the offseason to adding something else to his arsenal. We know he can play high-level basketball on both ends. The sky is the limit. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. They continue to battle out there so close to taking the lead. Yeah, but that's been elusive. They've missed a few plays along the way that they'd love to have back. Young from outside. Again, the Hawks good for two. And this game belongs to Young right now, and he is simply making everything. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Tatum no good. Atlanta's gone three or four from long range in the game. In the corner, it's Hunter. Murray for three. A shot, no good. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Brown finds White. Celtics passing it around. Let's it go from the wing. And there's Brown. That's good on the assist by White. Brown's got the game tied up here for Boston. Young against Holiday. Shoots from the high post, and the jumper is on the mark. Young's got 10 points in just the second half. And we tend to focus on the outside shooting with Young, but his in-between game is just as lethal. Brown dishes to Holiday. Tatum kicks to White to take the lead. Okongwu grabs the board. Okongwu's now got his fourth rebound in this one. Bay passes to Young. On its way from Hunter for two. The wing jumper off target. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. A two-point game. But Jason Tatum in a big moment. He is unafraid. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Young against Holiday. Porzingis with the block. Brown outside. This is it to Persingas. And stolen by Okongwu. Murray, the pass to Bay. And Bay throws it down. Oh, what a feed by Murray. He's got that pass first mentality. You always want to play with guys that play that way. Down low. Out to Porzingis. Let's it go. Bay pulls it in. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Here's Okongwu. And there it is for him. And it's a four-point Hawks lead. And you love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. The kick out to Holiday. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Real fearless shot there by Holiday with the whole team counting on him. He is able to come through. Murray, money! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Man, you can get chills watching Jason Tatum want to deliver in the clutch. Holiday against Young. For Holiday. No good off the back of the rim. Now Porzingis. There's the pass to Holiday. To take the lead. Connects from downtown. A big time bucket there. They've got to play for a stop here with the two point lead. Most important thing. No open threes. Murray outside. Back to Young. 
A three, Hunter misses the train.
got some explosive athletes out here tonight, Grant, and front row seats to watch it. You know, B.A., they're going to be stuffing that highlight reel all night. I mean, you can feel the energy in this place. The crowd is definitely ready for it. The starters for the Memphis Grizzlies. Bain is the two with Williams playing the three. Then it's Jaron Jackson. Then there's Ja Morant, and it's Williams in at the five spot. Morant into the lane, and then Morant with the dunk. I mean, just an agile move by Morant down low, working around the contact and getting it to go. Edwards against Bain. Back to Daniels. Gobert with a screen on Williams. There's the drive. Oh, a rim rattling two-handed jam. I'll tell you, McDaniels eats up ground in a hurry. And here's Moran. About a minute into this first quarter, McDaniels with some nice D. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Edwards. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Jaron Jackson picks one up. Yeah, and you know, when Edwards is aggressive, I think it forces defenders to try to get physical back. And when he's close to the rim, he usually is able to draw the foul as a result. And both free throws good for Edwards. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Well, Clark, no question which end of the floor Rudy Gobert makes his biggest impact. Yeah, he's a demoralizing defender. I mean, his height and reach give him some significant advantages, but it's more than that. You don't win multiple Defensive Player of the Year awards just because you're tall and long. You got to have some toughness. You got to have some anticipation and timing and the willingness to get down in dirt. And so it's Minnesota with it. After the basket by Memphis, Edwards, a pass to McDaniels. And stolen by Bain. And up the court come the Grizzlies on the break. Kicks it out to Jackson, right wing. Moran against Gobert. Williams, a screen on Gobert. Moran, he's open, drops it in from 14 feet away. Moran's got six. Yeah, stepping in from the arc, Morant comfortable from there. It's Edwards with a drive outside McDaniels. Pass to Gobert. On the take. The kick out to Conley. Outside McDaniels. Six to shoot. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Wrong work inside by the six foot nine Jaden McDaniels. Showing how effective he can be down there. Moran against Conley. Outside, Williams. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Rudy Gobert picks one up. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Grant, when you look at the Memphis team from last year, everyone was under 30 years of age. Yeah, and a lot of upside there. But the move this summer to bring in veteran leaders like Marcus Smart, I mean, he fits their timeline, B.A., and can also balance some of that youth with experience. Here's Edwards. The Grizzlies making their last shot. Downs a screen on Bain. Oh, there's the alley! And up the court come the Grizzlies on the break. Pass to Jackson. Outside, Williams. Back to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Oh, great body control. Good timing. Jackson really works the pick and roll to perfection. Denied by Moran. Ooh, Gobert with a steal. And here's Edwards outside. And Morant clears the board. And so Morant will bring it up for Memphis. Kicks it out to Bain. Jackson outside. Three-pointer. 
And Payne with the three. Adding to his game over time. When Jackson spots his open teammates like this, the offense runs much smoother. Payne against Edwards. Pass to Gobert. To halt the run. Misses off the left iron. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Morant. 12 seconds left in the first. Clock at six. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. And, you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Rising up with assertiveness, Conley always recognizes when he should shoot off the dribble. Ja Moran, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Memphis. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. What stands out to you from the Grizzlies in this one? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. McDaniels and Towns in at the forward slots. Connolly at the guard with Edwards next to him. And it's Gobert in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the T-Wolves. So it's Minnesota now, following the bucket by the Grizzlies. Well, I tell you what, once Edwards accelerates, I mean, he looks like he's playing at a different speed than those around him. Rose, the pass to Kennard. Back to Rose. Clark with a screen on Conley. Here's Rose. The shot, no good. Ooh, great D that time from Gobert. It's Edwards on the wing. And Edwards slams it in. Rising up for the throwdown. Major hops from Edwards. Rose against Conley. It's blocked by Gobert. Fast break, Minnesota. Three-pointer. And Conley with the three. Conley's got five points. Great idea to pull up and take the transition three there. The D was in position to block his path to the hoop if he took it inside. Back to Rose. Jackson with a screen on Conley. Jackson outside. Up and over Conley. And another miss by Memphis. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. And Edwards, here we go. And Clark with a block. Kennard against Towns. Pass to Clark. Jackson outside. Jackson with a screen on McDaniels. Back to Jackson. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. All right, guys, a breakdown here of the hustle stats for the Grizzlies. You have to give them credit for their defense here in the early stages. I mean, they've shown tremendous anticipation on the same page as a unit defensively, especially on those block shots. They had also a great job hustling on turnovers and turning them into points. Defense creating offense so far in this one. We've had many impactful European players throughout the years, Clark. What makes their style of play so different? You know, I think it's really how they're trained from the time they start playing the game, B.A. Every player, regardless of size, is taught to think and feel and play the game fundamentally sound. And I love that. I think that's something that should be mimicked in the States. Train kids to play the game the right way in all aspects of it, no matter how small or tall they are. Here's McDaniels. After the basket by Memphis. Pass to Towns. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard. Gobert finds McDaniels. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Hey, we know every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. The Grizzlies have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Here's Rose. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And now a four-point Memphis lead. 
With his bounce and body control, easy to see why Rose is aggressive there. How about this combo, guys? Part super athlete, part contortionist. Pound continues to impress. Jackson with a screen on Conley. Jackson outside. Kennard outside. Good work there as it goes. Kennard's got his first two points. Strong anticipation from Jackson on the dish. Coaches love to see that out of their big man. And that's an intentional foul. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. <laughs> and it's a completely new group for the Timberwolves. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Aldama's checked in. Well, he may not be a flashy player, but Kyle Anderson is a winner, Clark. He really is. I mean, he's selfless, understands how to play. You hear that said a lot. It's about IQ. It's about feel, understanding. Gets it done at both ends of the floor, and I love the fact that he's a tremendous playmaker at 6'9". And then it's out of bounds to Minnesota. Stevens has checked in for Williams. Number 24, Lamar Stevens. There's 53 seconds left in the second quarter. Reed sets a screen. Alexander Walker, the pass to Reed. A slam dunk by Reed. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Here's Stevens. Back to Rose. Here's Stevens. Anderson covers. Four on the clock. Here's Rose with the drive. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Excellent execution in a very tough spot. Shots like this show Rose has amazing poise under pressure. Morris deciding where to go with it. Back to Reed. For three, Warren. The putback. Good awareness that time to put the shot right back up before the defense could react. So a tie game here as we finish the first half. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Oh, a fantastic game from Ja Moran in this one. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. You know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. On the court for the Grizzlies. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Brandon Clark out there with Santi Aldama. And it's Stevens in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Edwards. Pass to Conley. And here's McDaniels. Great D that time from Bain. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone awry. Stevens, the pass to Bain. Picked by Aldama. Some room here for Bain. Again, the Grizzlies. Good for two more. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, disrespectful. <laughs> One of the league's better floor generals really <laughs> over the last decade. Conley plays with an old school pass first mindset. Now here's Moran. He's got 13. Pass to Stevens. Now here's Clark. Oh, Clark with the slam. He challenges the defender and throws it down with two hands. Man, just straight power on that one. Clear the deck. Yeah, I love that determination right there. Sort of defining the term floor general. Conley has total command of this offense. And the Timberwolves going with a whole new group out there. And so it's Moran who brings up the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. The lead is two. Puts the move on. Driving to the basket. And the bounce that Morant possesses is unlike anyone else at his position. 
Here's Alexander Walker, guarded by Bain. And it's Alexander Walker penetrating. Reed for three. And the three-pointer goes. Reed's got seven points in the game. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Here's Moran. Yes, sir! Jock and throw it down! And tearing them to shreds tonight. You know, when a player as versatile as Moran starts going off, look out. Pass to Morris. Leaner from distance. Aldama grabs a board. When you're that open, do you really need to go with the leaner? From deep, Bain knocks down the triple. Now it's a six-point Memphis lead. The way Morant sets up his teammates is as good as any guard in this league. They get it back. Warren, the pass to Anderson. Out left to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Reed. A slam dunk by Reed. Come on now. What a talent. Slips through the lane and just flushes it home. Oh, the D feeling some shame right there. That was big league. Boy, I tell you what, you just got to sit back and admire the creativity there. Among the best passers in the league, Morant finds open teammates. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Marcus Smart's checked in for Stevens. Kennard comes in for Bain. And Rose is subbed in for Morant. Now here's Morris. Outside, Anderson. Drives to the hoop. Back to Morris. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you gotta knock it down. Warren against Rose. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. But Rose plays with an angry physicality, which is really hard to match up against. And the second free throw is good. 1.14 left in the third quarter. Outside Warren. Oh, Warren slams it in. Boy, he gets up so easily, throwing it down. T.J. Warren making it happen. Morris against Rose. Clark with a screen on Morris. Here's Rose. Ooh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Kicks it out to Kennard. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Rose. Kennard's got five. Knows how to run a team, guys, and facilitate accordingly. Rose makes those around him better. Alexander Walker, the pass to Warren. Chalk up two there. Memphis has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Rose against Morris. Now here's Rose. Not a lot of room. He takes it in. Count that bucket. Rose has got five points now in the quarter. I really love when Rose goes hard like this, guys. I mean, still, even after the injury, showing no fear. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies with a nine-point cushion at the end of the... And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. They have their two big men out there, Towns and Gobert, working inside. Edwards at the two with McDaniels at the three. And it's Conley in at the point. So that's the Timberwolves five. Now here's Edwards. Gets some space and buries the jumper. Boy, you love to see Edwards shine on offense like this. I know it's got to be making his coach happy, too. Here's Moran. Oh, John Moran! Spring-loaded! <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. 
really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. This has been the story of the game, a battle fought on offense. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. Now here's Moran. Jackson with a screen on Conley. Smart right side. Fires for three. Rebound Minnesota. Towns with the ball. And Kennard picks him up defensively. Pass to Edwards. The three is up. That's in. Coming off an assist from Towns. Towns has got three assists now in this one. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Williams is checked in for Clark. Williams comes in for Smart. And it's Desmond Bain in for Kennard. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Taylor Jenkins had to say to his team. Coach telling their team, this is a tight one. We need full effort defensively. One or two stops, and we will win this game. A coach preaching defense, a familiar tune. Okay, thanks, Allie. Conley against Moran. Kicks it out to Jackson. Hits a three-pointer. And the Grizzlies lead by six. That jumper is pure. Jackson with great touch for a big man. Set him up, let him knock him down. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling, and he still misses. Boy, he wishes he had that one back. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision excellent. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And there's the call. Memphis with the foul. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Grizzlies? Well, throughout this game, they've been lighting it up from mid-range. I love seeing that. They've made that the focus of their offense, and it's really paid off. Yeah, something else I love that they're doing is driving into the lane and getting the shots they want in penetration. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. We got to see that one again. That block was all-out effort. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Now here's Moran. And if you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. And Gobert with a block. No surprise Gobert sent that shot back. McDaniels from long range. Pure from three-point range. Ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Moran against Conley. Jackson, the screen. Takes the three. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Expanding his overall game. Good to see Jackson Jr. taking and making the corner triple. And the basket by Towns. And <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Moran. The kick out to Williams. Let's go with a three. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got four rebounds in the game. It's Edwards with a drive. Here's McDaniels to the wing, right side. Towns finds Conley. This one for three. And the Timberwolves hit again from the... Oh, it helps to have Conley on the floor during these moments. He's outstanding at coming through on those big possessions. Now here's Moran. Jackson outside. Here's Payne. And he sinks it. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Towns for three. And he buries it. And he's brought them within two points now. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Now here's Moran. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. 
It goes on Mike Conley. And it's critical Morant steps up in the important points in the game. This is his time to shine. Reeds checked in for the Timberwolves. And that makes it a two-possession game now. Those could turn out to be vital free throws. Inside, the kick out to Edwards. Pass to Gobert. Reed for three. And it's in. Oh, what a sensational bucket. That brings it within one. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He drops the first one, and that'll put him up two. The boundless athleticism Morant has is really special. He's someone that is always in attack mode. That last free throw was critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. Here's Conley. Gobert with a screen on Morant. From deep, Conley. Off target from downtown. Up top, Edwards. McDaniels from long range. He's off from three.
days. It's refreshing, isn't it, to see a battle between half-court offense and to excel at that. You, you have to be extremely tactical, minimize turnovers, and execution is key. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. Johnson is out there with Bay, and it's Capella in at the five spot. And we continue to see Leonard and his patients being able to deliver the ball like that. Here's Young. Trains it from 17 feet out. And he's not going to miss many of those, especially that wide open. No, he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. Now, here's George. Harden has a wide-open look. And another three for the Clippers. What a nice attribute to have with your wing player being able to operate and control the offense. That's what PG can do. Young against Harden. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Young against Harden. Outside Leonard. Passes it to Mann. Shot clock at five. Off target from the baseline. For Atlanta, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. And there's Murray on the assist by Bay. And that's where Murray can take his jump shot comfortably in the mid-range. And after being one of the worst teams, Brent, in the NBA for so long, the Clippers have really turned things around, haven't they? No doubt. I mean, a season ticket to the cellar for many, many seasons. But moving into this building, getting a little bit of juice, getting some stars in here, they've become a competitive contender in the past few seasons. And it all has to do with the ownership. And that shift has been fruitful for the Los Angeles Clippers. And here's Harden. After DeJounte, Murray was able to get the triple. Yep, that one goes in there. Harden's got 10 points in the game. And what control from Harden inside, adjusting his shot perfectly for that short-range mate. Here's Young. It's hauled in by the Clippers. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Now here's Harden after Clint Capella's miss. Three-pointer. No good that time. So it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Hawks. They trail by one. Here's Mann, defended by Young. No one near him. Mann gets the bucket. Oh, he had him spin, and he looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. Two minutes remaining in the first. Here's Young. Has to Bay. Puts up a three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Encouraging to see Sadiq Bey just stay this confident and looking for that shot off the catch. Harden the pass to Leonard. Outside, George. And George has the stuff. And, and slams it home and gets some camera time on the end of it. He did. He, he spent a while up on that rim, didn't he? One thing you marvel at, the consistency of Paul George, year in and year out. I wonder when Paul George, Greg, goes into the offseason, if it's more tinkering and sharpening all those skills, or if he's trying to add something. Because I don't know how you add anything to how versatile a player he is. Inside, Johnson, and the slam dunk by Johnson. And those assist numbers for Murray keep going up because he can score. There's 53 seconds left in the first. Here's Harden. And the jam by Harden. Harden. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Three pointer. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Atlanta making some changes. Hunter comes in for Johnson. And it's Bogdanovich in for DeJounte Murray. Good on the three-point shot. Harden's got 15. And nice time from Zubats. His score awareness is solid. 
About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Young. And that one hits back iron. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Outside, George. And he makes good on the way. You know, always talk about the first two steps in transition and Paul George out quick and decisively that time. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Hits the three-point bomb. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song. Back and forth. DeJounte Murray has been leading the charge for the Hawks. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Will And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Hawks? Uh, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far they are hitting at a high clip. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. So with Harden on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. Man in at shooting guard with George at small forward. Daniel Tice out there with P.J. Tuck. And it's Westbrook in at the one. George with the ball. He's got seven. Driving the lane. Here's Tucker. Tice. The rebound by Johnson. Atlanta's gotten off four shots from three-point range tonight and buried every one of them. Murray left side. From deep. Offensive rebound. And then Griffin with the dunk. And we'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. And one of the unwritten rules of team play, Brent, don't throw your teammate a grenade. What are those? Well, I got a lot of those from my years in Seattle, and I won't mention his name, but the initials were Gary Payton. Look, the shot clock's winding down. You're standing open, and the guard just gives it to you with 1.5 seconds to go, and you got to shoot the ball. So those are called live grenades, Kevin. And Okongwu slams it in. And you have to prevent him from getting to the paint, uh, unless you want to see a highlight. Man passes to Tice. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Murray looking around. Passes to Okongwu. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got three assists in the game. Not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. And for the second straight time, Brent, the Atlanta Hawks made a first round exit in 2023. You know, it's interesting, Kevin, when a team achieves something that maybe they didn't think they were going to get to, how those expectations change. I think that's happened to the Hawks a little bit. Look, they made a coaching change. They fell short this year with some retooling. They definitely have some pieces out there who are going to fight and are going to adjust to what it is they need to do in order to take that next step. And it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not going to knocks down the three ball. Tucker's got his first three points of the game. And that's where Tucker likes to set up camp. He's in those short corners, and he knows what to do with it. Murray, the pass to Johnson, and then Johnson with the jam. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. Clippers trail by five. Two minutes remain in the first half. 158 left in the first half of basketball. A nice shot by Tucker. Tucker can knock down the long-range three ball. You just can't give him that much room to settle in. Here's Bufkin. Hasn't made one yet. Puts one up from 19. And Atlanta again with the bucket. To leave a guy like that wide open from range, big mix-up. 
Left side, Westbrook. And taken away by Johnson. To the inside, Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. And it feels like DeJounte Murray's working at the post office right now because there's stamps of him all over this game. Outside for George. Let's it go with a three. Atlanta with the rebound. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. The pass to Tice takes a three, and that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists in the game. Here's Murray. Now that one is his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. If guys are getting points inside, that's a bad sign for the defense. So you don't want to allow too much penetration, especially from DeJounte. Here's Westbrook. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Here's Bufkin. Kicks it to Johnson. Here's Bufkin. And no good that time. Doesn't go that time. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Hawks ahead. Up by five. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Standing by. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. DeJounte Murray has been sensational. Yeah, something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, if we were grading playmaking today, it's an A-plus from him. On the court for Atlanta, the guard set is Young and Bogdanovich. In the pose, it's Bay and Capella. And it's Hunter in at the small four. Here's Young with the drive. No good on that one. AT that time from Leonard. And so Powell will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. A two-point game. Ah, oh, what a luxury Brennan is to have Trey Young head up this team. Uh, unbelievable. Just a walking bucket. And there's nights where you could just expect something special is coming at the hands of Trey Young. So much success in the early part of his career, and he hasn't slowed down. And what makes Young an all-star caliber player? Well, he can beat you with the jumper and the bounce. It's Harden with the drive. Good on the shot. Harden's got it all tied up now for the Clippers. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Young dishes to Capella, and the dunk by Capella. That's where Capella is so dangerous. He slips off those screens and is such a big target to finish. Harden against Young. Right side, Leonard. Unloads from 13, and that one is off. The Hawks have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Hunter kicks to Capella. The second effort, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Capella taking a crack and stays focused on the rim. The Hawks have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Clippers trail by four. It's Harden with the drive. Powell for three. Hunter grabs the miss. For Atlanta, they've gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Capella, the pass to Bay, and Bay throws it down. Well, Capella at that size really has no issues spotting the open man. Harden against Young. 
here's Leonard. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Leonard's got seven points in the game. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Here's Young in Atlanta again with the bucket. Well, this guy keeps learning from each and every coverage on the pick and roll. Trey Young getting some serious chops playing out of that set. Now here's Powell. Still scoreless. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. Shot clock at six. Atlanta with the rebound. Cabela's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Bay. Again, the Hawks score. Yeah, you could tell Hunter knew he was open, did not hesitate to find him. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Daniel Tice is checked in for Zubox. George comes in for Leonard. Mann's checked in for Amir Coffey. And it's Russell Westbrook in for James Harden. How? Good work defensively by Capella. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who could play at such a high level offensively. Stolen by George. Here's Powell. Well placed jumper from the free throw line. Powell's got his first bucket in this one. Usually you see Powell operating on a drive or spot up three. That time he took advantage of a mid range. Feeds it to Johnson. That one goes. Counted. And the Hawks lead by eight. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. Westbrook kicks to Powell. Shoots over Griffin. Powell. That's good. Powell's got his second bucket of the game to go. Powell wasting no time to let that one rip. Here's Bufkin to the paint. Powell with the steal. And here's Westbrook. Goes up on the wing. And the Clippers getting another bucket right there. Nice to see Westbrook rise up and knock that one down. When he has that solid base, it looks good. Murray outside. And shot on the way. Again, the Hawks score. And he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Outside Westbrook. And the layup fall. It might sound strange, but you can gain more confidence in your ball handling. That's on display right now from Westbrook. He could just get his shot anywhere on the court he wants it. All the way to the bucket. No resistance. Just swipe the candy for me. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the... And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. George and Leonard are the forwards. Then it's Ivica Zubac. Then it's Harden. And it's Mann in at the two-guard spot. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Well, since coming into the league, Murray's worked so hard on his free-throw shooting. It's really paying off. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity spread. But he has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. The defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into crunch time. Here's Bufkin. Pass to Johnson. And it's Johnson with the jam. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now here's Harden. He's tightly guarded. The feed to Lennon. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. 
Harden's got three assists in the game. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. And the rejection by Zubats. Terrific defense from Zubats. His team relies on him to help alter shots. And he commits the intentional foul. And the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. Personal foul. First team foul. Leonard, that's for two. Atlanta with the rebound. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. From about 16, Young, good. And the Hawks lead by seven. I don't know if any shot's a good shot, but Trey Young willing to take any shot he gets. Young with the steal. The 17-footer buries the jump shot. Young's got the lead up to nine now for the Hawks. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stance for the Hawks. And they've shown great focus on the defensive end, putting constant pressure on the ball and really disruptive in terms of what they've done defensively. Their attacking of the offensive glass has also been a success story. All game long, they've been committed to finding those second-chance opportunities. Okongwu with the screen for Young. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Drawing the foul down low. Trey Young turning that trip to the line. Shooting for Young. And so Young nails them both. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. It's Harden with the drive. Man passes to Leonard. And it's good, two points. Leonard's got 11 points here in just the second half. Wasting zero time. Kawhi Leonard knew what he wanted to do. Young against Harden. Young with no one around. And he nails that one right through the net. Young's got the lead back up to nine now for the Hawks. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Harden dishes to Leonard. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three point. Young finds Bay. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Bay. Pocket two. Bangs on the trifecta. And Bay doing a great job of getting his feet ready to line that one up. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Young against Harden. Loses his grip and misses the dunk. Bogdanovich looking around. Here's Okongwu. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Now Harden drives to the hoop. Leonard on the wing. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. And now the go-to guy in these situations. Leonard can handle that kind of pressure in the big moment as well as anyone. There's 48 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Bogdanovich with a screen on Hart. Five on the clock. Young plays it up off the glass. And the Hawks lead by eight. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. It would take some very special defense to stop him once he gets that close to the bucket. And they weren't special that time. And the foul on Harden. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Third team foul. Now into the lineup for the Hawks. Here's Young. Number five. DeJounte Murray. L.A. foul. James Harden. It's the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. There's some steely moments that come from Trey Young, and I'll tell you what, if the defense is getting under his skin, he rarely shows that. And I think they realize any hope of a comeback is gone. Well, realistic at this stage of the game, they're going to lose this one, but will they take something from the loss? 
Murray with it.
Something we're seeing a little more of lately. And you know this league is a copycat league, and right now the trend is about teams looking for size and skill. Big guys who can pretty much do everything. That's the thing about the NBA. It's always adapting and always evolving. Strong finish by Tatum. Nothing was stopping him there. And the free throw, no good. It's Edwards on the wing. He's guarded by White. And the call will be against Derek White. That's his first foul. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. And Minnesota has possession. Now Edwards shoots over White. Tips it. Controls the rebound and the putback. Yeah, just what they needed from Gobert. Grabbing the rebound with those long arms and sending it back. Brown can't hit. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Richard, we saw a new look for Jalen Brown in 2023, but injury forced him to don a mask. Yeah, face masks are kind of infamous right now. Some guys struggle with them. Some guys are defined by it. Didn't seem to bother Brown that much. I will give him that. And it's Tatum with the ball for the Celtics. The kick out to White. Here's the three. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. Gobert passes to Conley. Back to Gobert. Pass to McDaniels. Gets the three to fall. Hey, this is just three. fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Drains the three while he's being fouled. And he might be able to make this a four-point play. This is what great scorers do. Tatum rises to the three-point challenge. When talking about the Celtics, you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch grab. Yeah, I mean, think about it, B.A. To have Tatum on one wing and Brown on the other, that's a potent combination. And what a luxury for Boston. They complement each other so well. Now here's Edwards. Shot clock at six. Outside McDaniels. Shoots over Brown. McDaniels can't hit. Boston has gone two of two at the perimeter. Three-pointer Holiday. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. A nice dish by Gobert. With his height, he can see over the whole defense. Porzingis against Gobert. Porzingis passes to Tatum. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Tatum's got nine points. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Gobert finds Conley. Back to Gobert. The kick out to Edwards. Fires the three. Porzingis grabs the board. The Celtics with the lead. To the inside. Here's Brown. And Brown with the stuff. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. Back to Gobert. Yes, great play by Conley to set it up. Gobert's got his second basket of the game. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now here's Tatum. Nine points in the game. Holiday drives in. Pass to Porzingis. The kick to Tatum. McDaniels against Brown, and they're able to recover. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. The Timberwolves have gone four of eight and looking in control. Conley against Holiday puts up a three. The shot by Conley, no good. Boston has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. White for three. And the Celtics another three. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Now here's White. He's got six. Down low. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. Fast break, Minnesota. 
White against Conley. Outside McDaniels. Pass to Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Brown. Edwards, the pass to McDaniels. Nice D from Brown. Nice contest. A high level of energy. That's how you play defense. Holiday finds Porzingis. The kick to Tatum. And here's Brown. Tatum, a screen on McDaniels. Here's Brown. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. Edwards can't hit. That's what you need your bigs to do. Step up and control the defensive glass. And there's the foul. It's on Rudy Gobert. That's his first foul of the game. Third team foul. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for the Boston Celtics. Hunting for opportunity. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Boston. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. Another area where they've excelled has been pushing it on the break. They're really getting after it. On the court for the Timberwolves. Second quarter underway. They've got Kyle Anderson. Nikhil Alexander-Walker out there with Monte Morris. Then there's Nas Reed, and it's Warren in at the four. Here's Pritchard. Out to Horford. Hauser passes to Pritchard. Five on the clock. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. They get it back. Cornette with the bucket. Great recognition of the mismatch. Abusing the smaller defender. Poor guy. Here's Alexander Walker. Morris passes to Alexander Walker. And there's the drive. Kicks it out to Anderson. Pass to Warren. To the paint. Another shot, and it's Morris penetrating. Rebound, Boston. Oh, deflected. Here's Walsh. Oh, trying his luck from deep. Warren with the rebound. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Morris for three. Back to Anderson. Here's Alexander Walker. From outside, off the mark. The Celtics have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's Pritchard. And he drains the quick shot. And now it's a nine-point Celtic lead. We always see trends come and go in the NBA, Grant. It seems like in the current era, the pick and roll is the go-to offensive set. Oh, no question, B.A. To be competitive these days, you have to be able to run the pick and roll very, very well. And that's why lead guard play is so important right now in the league. And I have no clue how he got that one to fall, pulling some magic in the midair and torturing the defense in the process. Richard, no good. Minnesota has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Alexander Walker. He drains out one after two misses. Now one for three. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Takes a step back. Horford passes to Pritchard. Horford outside. it as the shot clock ticks down and the Celtics lead by nine well Horford isn't afraid to go old school and drop a shot there from mid-range the Celtics have gone four for seven in the second quarter with some arc and it falls two for three from the field so far and he finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass well done and Grant you look at the longevity of Horford's career he's done a great job reinventing himself you know, B.A., he added the three to his game once he hit 30, and that has extended his career by changing how he plays. 
he still can be an X factor on any given night. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Nas Reed. That's his first foul. First team foul. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Morris. Out to the right wing. 4-3. Walsh can't get it to go. And here's Morris. He'll bring it up for the T-Wolves. They trail by 11. And that one drops for him. Alexander, Walker. Alexander Walker's got six. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Pritchard, no good. The Timberwolves have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Alexander Walker with the bucket. Nine points in the game. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Morris. Pritchard, the pass to Horford. Here's Walsh. Yes! Great play by Horford to set him up. Walsh has got five points now this quarter. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. And here's Horford. Pass to Cornette. And so it's the Boston Celtics with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. We'll be back in a moment. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. You love guys who can get their... Oh, okay, oh, look wow. out! Man! Wow. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards. Wow. Outside Porzingis. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. Ooh, good defensive intensity. But you have to stay in control always. And he's good on the second. Standing at 7-3. We have never seen a player quite like Kristaps Porzingis. A fantastic shooter, a solid ball handler. What a talent. Some big guys struggle at the line, not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Pass to Holiday. It's rebounded by Rudy Gobert. Gobert's got four rebounds now. Back to Porzingis. And Mike Conley picks up the foul. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Brown. Brown catches in. A terrific finisher inside. Night in, night out. Brown just makes plays. Edwards against White. For three. Connects from downtown. Edwards. Edwards has got five points now this quarter. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Porzingis finds Holiday. Horford outside. Back to Holiday. Clock at six. Three pointer. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got five rebounds in the game. From deep, Conley. Offensive rebound. It's stolen by Holiday. Brown with it. Now guarded by McDaniels. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. Yeah, B.A., that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind it. Here's Brown. And Jade McDaniels picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. 
And here's Brown for three. Good. And it's Horford who picks up the assist. Horford's got three assists in the game. A dangerous shooter from all areas. Brown's eyes get real big when he shoots these corner threes. Here's Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. Maybe they've been going to him a little too much. Now, he's having a great game, but his team is losing, and that is all that matters. Here's Brown on the drive. Right side, Porzingis. Pass to Horford. Over Towns. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got six rebounds in the game. And Edwards slams it in. One of the league's better floor generals, really over the last decade, kindly plays with an old-school pass-first mindset. Porzingis passes to Brown. Over McDaniels. It's blocked by Gobert. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And so Gobert will bring it up for the Timberwolves. Eight-point game. And it's Towns with the power finish. And this is the chemistry Towns has with his guys. He recognizes when to go for alley-oops. I love it. The kick out to White. Two minutes remaining in the third. Horford passes to White. Back to Horford. Five to shoot. Ooh, here's White on the drive. It's good. White's got eight. Yeah, the savvy of Horford on display. Minnesota. Just tremendous passing as a big. And Minnesota calls time here. And the Timberwolves going with a whole new group out there. They are Celtics. The Timberwolves have got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Morris deciding where to go with it to the middle. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. That foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, no, it just doesn't make sense given the situation. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Every team in this league wants a Jalen Brown. A tremendous two-way wing and boy. Brown can put up giant offensive numbers. Minnesota has gone one or two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Morris outside. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the long J. Seven points in the game. Uh, if you give a shooter of his skill an opening like this, he's going to take it every time. Outside Holiday. Back to Brown. From behind the arc. It's rebounded by Morris. The Timberwolves have gone six of seven and appearing confident in this half. Alexander Walker, the pass to Reed. Knocks it down from distance. Reed. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Yeah, the second half in stark contrast with the first uh, coach. Must have got on them a little bit at halftime. And Boston calls time here. Substitution on the court. There's 48 seconds left in the third. Out to Horford. Here's Walsh. He's got five. Pass to Hauser. There's the triple. And that one goes out of bounds. And Coach is sure it should be going the other way. He's challenging the out-of-bounds violation. And depending on the ref's angle, an out-of-bounds violation is an easy call to... Previous play is like to confirm on the monitor. Yeah, it's one of the main reasons the coach's challenge is in place. This is... The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And the ruling has been made. They're going to uphold the original call on the out-of-bounds violation. And as a coach, it stings to lose a timeout on a failed challenge. But it's a risk worth taking to make absolutely sure that you're not going to lose a possession on a blown call. Give it up once again for your... And the Celtics in possession here. 
13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Clock at two. Here's Pritchard. The rebound by the Timberwolves. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. Here's Alexander Walker. An open look for Reed. And it's Cornette with a rebound. If he gets that look again, he should take it. You can't let one miss scare you off of a very good shot. Boston, no good that time either. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Celtics out in front. Up. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. On the court for the Timberwolves. Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. Inside, we got Towns and Gobert. And it's McDaniels in a small forward. This is how confident Tatum is. Knows he can score inside whenever he wants. Towns, right side. The kick out to Edwards. That one's good. And it's Towns with the assist. Edwards got 12 points here in the second half. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Looking ferocious on the drive. You know, I love seeing Towns going hard and finishing with power. Holiday against Conley. Tatum from long range. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Second personal foul. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Celtics? Uh, they're moving the ball around so well, guys. Quick passes, letting the next guy do the work if you don't have a look. Yeah, the other thing they're doing is absolutely scorching the net. Red hot from outside all game long. What strikes me about Jason Tatum is really his versatility. He's got any move for any situation that you throw at him. His moves have moves. His counters have counters. That is a man that can finish plays or make them. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. He's perfect from the line this time. Boston's gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Holiday passes to Tatum. Three-pointer. And there's Holiday. That's good. On the assist from Tatum. And the Celtics lead by seven. Holiday against Conley. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. And it's Brown off the drive. The kick out to White. Pass to Porzingis. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Towns. Tipped. How about the defense from Holiday? Reading the play and using his defensive instincts to swat it back. And Brown with the stuff. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Outside Edwards. There's the three. The kick out to Conley. Over to the wing. Towns for three. Yes. Great play by Conley to set it up. Conley's got his fourth assist in this one. A fantastic three-point shooter. you got to guard Towns from the corners especially. The kick to Tatum. JT to the hole. Six to shoot. And stolen by Edwards. Fast break, Minnesota. It's stolen by Tatum. Porzingis with it. And it's Gobert picking him up. Oh, got that one up quick. Brown's got 10 points in just the second half. There you go, JB. I love his confidence. One of his strongest traits. And Edwards, here we go. He can't hit that time. And it's Tatum with the ball for Boston. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Edwards finds Gobert. Tatum against Towns. 
Conley up top. The three ball drains the triple. Conley's got six here in the quarters. Oh, it helps to have Conley on the floor during these moments. He's outstanding at coming through on those big possessions. And it's even more satisfying when you answer with a three, and it looks like they're putting the game out of reach. Porzingis against McDaniels. Porzingis passes to Holiday. And stolen by Edwards. Towns outside. The offensive rebound. The three. And it's good. And he's brought them within two points now. And talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Pass to Brown. It's a kick out to White. Now here's Holiday. Outside Tatum. Jacks up a three. Oh, gets the free to fall. And if anybody didn't know, Jason Tatum has that killer instinct just coming out in a big way. And here's Edwards. Picked by Gobert. To the paint. Kicks it out Towns. Outside McDaniels. Edwards, a pass to Conley. Fires from deep. And Edwards with the basket on the assist by Conley. Some players shrink when the pressure's on, but he lives for these moments. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. And so they foul intentionally. Second. First free throw is good. And that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both. And it's a four-point ball game. Well, they wanted every last one of those, and he delivered, making it a two-possession game. And not a moment to lose on this possession. Clock working against them right now. Towns for three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Porzingis with it.
be better than a bout between two conference rivals. Cannot wait. Nothing, Kevin. These players and fans are very familiar with each other and desperately want bragging rights. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. Williams is out there with Jackson, and it's Williams at the three slot. That shot wide open. Tough to shadow Morant. Explosive off the dribble, but at the same time, can stop on a dime. Harden scanning the floor. Passes it to Mann. Outside, George. Zubat kicks to George. Just three to shoot. And that one drops. Great dive from Zubats. He understands when he should look to give it up. Harden against Morant. And finished off by Morant. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. And Memphis, Smitty, one of the flashiest teams in the league. Lots of highlight real material there for sure. Kevin, you need the sizzle and the steak. This is a young team with a lot of great talent that's still learning how to be consistent. It's part of the process. Well, a careless foul, and he'll go to the line for three free throws. First and, Smitty, we know when it comes to the Clippers, they seem to go as Kawhi Leonard goes. No doubt, Kevin. The only year they didn't make the playoffs with him, he was hurt. But when he's healthy, they are dangerous. There are so many ways that Kawhi can attack on offense. A great three-level score. He's a handful to deal with. Now here's Morant. He has five. He kicks it to Jackson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And Jared Jackson Jr. is so impressive, especially on the defensive end. A dynamic shot blocker, Greg. Jared Jackson is someone that loves setting the tone on the defensive end. Not to mention, he's a very skilled offensive threat. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. A three, and Leonard gets it to go on the assist from Harden. Leonard's got eight points. No doubt in my mind that Kawhi Leonard shoots with the utmost confidence. Wasted no time on that one. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now here's Harden. Count it. And when Harden's this close, and he looks to score. Love his mentality. Memphis has gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Outside for Jackson. In the corner, it's Bain. Memphis moving that ball around. Jackson setting the pick here for Morant. He takes it in, and then Morant slams it in. Stop it, Ja. He's putting on a show. Harden against Morant. Outside for George. And another three for the Clippers. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Hey, <laughs> dunks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landing in. He wanted to make a statement. Now here's Harden. Inside. For three. And another three for the Clippers. And a large portion of Harden's shots come from the perimeter. And for good reason. He is an absolute sharpshooter. Outside for Jackson. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Los Angeles has gone three of three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here in the first. Williams against George. 104 left to play in the first quarter. And here's Harden for three. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. And you know, if you score on Harden, this guy's going to take it personal. Answers right back. 
Morant with it. Leonard picks him up. Morant against Leonard. Outside for Jackson. And it's Memphis with another. Boy, this is what we talk about with Jaron. The ability to score on all three levels. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Harden with it. Eight points for him. And Leonard has it in the corner. Over Jackson. And it's Leonard missing. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Morant with the bucket. Yeah, it's been the John ja Morant show all night. What a competitor. Here's Harden. No good with the layup. James Harden getting it done for Los Angeles. He notched eight point. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Clippers? In that first period, they showed a willingness to make the extra pass. And that's really hard on a defense, having to play deeper into the clock and having to cover a lot more ground. Taking a look at the Grizzlies. Rose is out there with Luke Kennard. Then it's Santi Aldama. Then it's Marcus Smart, and it's Clark in at the five. And the shot goes in. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. And so it's Rose bringing it up for Memphis. Injuries have hampered Paul George over the last few years. But when he's healthy, he's elite. Greg, he's still a go-to option offensively who can guard the league's top wings. And as he's aged, he's really embraced a leadership role. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Man, he's got five now. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Now, here's Kanon. Still yet to score. Right side, Westbrook. Here's Mann. An easy two points on the way. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Rose goes in. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Back to Aldama. Rose against Westbrook. Aldama. Westbrook pulls it in. Clippers leading by three. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey there, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard continuing to work his way back to peak form after his ACL tear during the 2021 playoffs. He said, I missed a whole year of basketball. I don't want to take anything for granted. I'm just trying to live in the moment and bring a sense of energy for the team. I'm still young, I'm a lot stronger, and I'm back. So, I'm happy. Kevin? Yeah, good to see, D.A. Hey, thank you. Smart against George. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. It goes on Brandon Clark. Defense throws everything at George, but he persists and finds a shot. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And it's not uncommon to see arguments boil over between teammates, Steve. Sports has a different line than most professions, don't you think? I do, Kevin. I agree. The physicality and competition factors into that. Most of these guys, you go and argue, but if you have a common goal of winning, you see that takes care of everything. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Here's Smart. Uses the glass to finish the lane. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. The pass to man. It's rebounded by Memphis. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Whoa, 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 the solo alley-oop? That, that's not something we see too often. Uh, timed perfectly. Caught the defense totally off guard. And it's Rose penetrating. Count it. Rose has got four points in the quarter. Very shifty with his handles, very clever. Containing Derrick Rose is never easy. 
Steve, this current Clippers group, they're changing the identity of this franchise. Hey, Kevin, you know this. For a long time, they couldn't get right, winning just one playoff series during their first 27 seasons in L.A. Now the Clippers expect to make postseason runs. And how about the clever move by Rose? He somehow manages to get around the contact and finish. Outside for George. Here's Westbrook. Derek Rose grabs the miss. For Memphis, they've gone 5 of 8 from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Shoots from 12. And the Grizzlies tack on two more. Just another day at the office. D. Rose knows when and where to get his points. Westbrook with it. And Rose picks him up defensively. Good on the triple. Tucker's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. No shortage of drama here early on. Yeah, eight lead changes already. Huge number this early. And the wide open shot from Rose. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Derek Rose, when he's in the outside shot, creates even more space for him to operate. To the left side wing. And another three for the Clippers. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other because of range. Fouled beyond the arc, and he almost hit the shot. He'll go to the line for three. Explosiveness by Derrick Rose is one of the reasons why a lot of guys do not want to guard him. A different look for the Clippers. Zubox is checked in for Daniel Tice. Leonard comes in for P.J. Tice. And it's James Harden in for Russell Westbrook. 20 seconds left in the second quarter. Harden against Rose. Now here's Harden. Defense is right there. Past a man. In the corner. George with it. And another three for the Clippers. And this is the way to stretch the floor. PG-13 with a good look from the corner. And he nails it. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Los Angeles on top. Up. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Guys, John Morant has been sensational. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. George and Leonard are the forwards. Then it's Ivica Zubac. Then it's Harden. And it's Mann and at this shooting guard position. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Takes it out to Leonard from outside the arc. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Leonard's got 11. There's Kawhi with the answer triple. Leonard is so competitive. The kick out to Williams. And the three off target. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. The lead is two. Man. And another three for the Clippers. Oh, great find there from Harden. He's just so good at finding his teammates in rhythm. It's Morant with the drop. Yeah. Big hops from the backcourt. Oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game, GA, going in their direction. It's a tight contest. Those type of plays can fire up your team and swing momentum. Can he keep it going? And the Grizzlies take yeah. on two more talented driven he puts constant pressure on your defense Harden against Morant the putback great positioning on the putback and the Clippers lead by three good focus from Zubox his guys appreciate the hustle outside for Jackson gets the three pointer to fall ten points for him he has done everything possible to keep his team in this one. What a performance from him. Harden against Morant. 
A putback. No dice on the putback jam. For Memphis, they've gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Gets it to fall. The bucket from Bain. Offensively, you want Bain shooting from the corners. Clippers trail by three. Now, here is Harden. Eight points for him. Grizzlies foul. And the Clippers going with a whole new group out there. First team foul. Substitution on the floor. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Here's Plumley, And he uses the glass on the way. Important point there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Morant against Westbrook from the arc. Plumley with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Here's Tucker. Pass to Coffee. Shoots from the right block. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Outside Jackson. Williams with a clean look. Sinks the three-pointer. Williams has got the lead up to four now for the Grizzlies. I like that find by Jackson. Young bigs who can see the whole floor. You don't come across them that often. Tucker can't get it to go. Memphis has gone four or six from three-point land since the start of the second half. Bain passes to Jackson. Misses the layup. Clipper shooting it as well as you're going to see. 67%. Here's Powell. Bricks the dunk off the deceptive pump fit. The Grizzlies on offense. They're on a 13-4 run right now. You know, Steve, you have to respect a guy like Norman Powell who embraces his role on this team. I definitely do, Kevin. Norman Powell isn't chasing the spotlight. He's working to support his team and really embraces his role on the floor. Plumley in the post. He's guarded by Williams. Shot is good, and the Memphis leads cut down to four on the bucket from Plumley. This is what the analytics prefer. Shots at the rim or from three. Morant surveying the D. Jackson a screen on West. There's a lot to Jackson. Powell with the steal. Morant against Westbrook. And the layup's good off the glass. Wow, just a two-point Grizzly lead. Nice job by Russ. Attacking the interior. Hunting down a high percentage look. Grant and the Grizzlies tack oh, on two more. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Here's Westbrook. He dishes it to Powell. Back to Westbrook with one on the clock. Here's Plumley, And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And that does it for the third quarter. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the court for Memphis to start the fourth. Santi Aldama is out there with Clark. Then it's Luke Kennard. Then there's Smart, and it's Rose in at the point. Rose kicks to Clark. And again, it's Memphis with the three. Nice pass by Derrick Rose, spotting a wide open guy from the corner of his eye. And it's Harden with the ball for the Clippers. Outside for George. Stolen by Smart. Passes it to Kanan. Back to Smart. As 
as tough as they get. Smart, a bulldog out there, does a good job of drawing contact, oftentimes by initiating it. Shooting from breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Grizzlies. Their defense, it's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far, being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And they've really been able to get out in transition and produce. The defense hasn't had an answer for this up-tempo pace. Nice recognition there by Paul George, just getting the ball to the open man. And the Grizzlies leading by four. Morant outside. Into the lane. And Morant throws it down. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And the defense knows he's relentless. You have to try and match that intensity. Shoots the three. It's hauled in by Zubats. Diversified scoring in this one for him. I love when everyone can get involved. A, a full team effort. Desmond, 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 Desmond Bain with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Williams, he's checked in for Marcus Smart. Here's Leonard. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. It's Morant in the corner. Jackson, a screen on George. There's the lob to Jackson. Leonard with the steal. Here's George. That ball. Nice feed that time from Leonard. Aggressive move by Paul George in the paint. He wanted that one bad. Morant kicks to Williams. Memphis moving it around. Back to Bain. to the middle. Oh, and the jam by Williams. Tough to miss that man. Desmond Bain read the defense perfectly. Harden against Morant. The three from George. John Morant grabs the rebound. Memphis leading by six. Jackson, a screen on Hart. Down to five on the shot clock. And the basket by Jackson. This is a big target coming off the pick and roll. Jaren's lethal in this set. Harden against Morant. It's Harden with the drive. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Harden. Harden's got six assists in the game. Memphis has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Outside for Jackson. Back to Morant. Down low. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Sometimes with bigs, you prefer to send them to the line. But Jaren, he's a knockdown shooter from there as well. Jaren Jackson Jr. So he goes two for two at the lock. And it's an eight-point game. 109 left in the game. Harden up top. Harden by Morant. Morant against Harden. And here's Leonard from three. Good! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Can't help but love the way Leonard plays the game. Stone-faced assassin. Morant against Harden. 45 and that. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. No moment is ever too big for Paul George. He remains confident in the clutch. Morant, left side. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Morant's got 30. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. 
Leonard, no luck. George against Morant.
tonight's game is a great example of that. Two teams with a lot of assists. What you like about both of these teams is every player has an opportunity to touch the basketball. And generally speaking, the more engaged you become, the more you touch it. Doesn't mean everybody gets equal shot opportunities, but these teams play a pretty style of basketball. Now Atlanta starting five. The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. Sadiq Bey out there with Johnson. And it's Capella in at the five. Just five to shoot. Screen by Capella. Young with it. Porzingis picks him up defensively. Young with the bucket. And so shifty with great handles. Young gets the defender to commit. Then takes full advantage. Tatum way outside. From beyond the arc and then some. Tatum's got five points. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Now here's Young. With the drive. And the basket is good. Young's gotten his second bucket of the game. Courageous play by Young. I mean, he goes inside and gets past the contact to his shot. To the inside, Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Wow, how about the long arms and the timing of Jason Tatum on the alley-oop? Nice. Well, Doris, when he's off the court, Jalen Brown is an outspoken advocate for education. What I love about Jalen B.A. is that he's about so much more than basketball. This young man has a passion for learning. It's a very admirable cause he has tried to be outspoken for. You love the superstar level effort between the lines and outside the lines. Murray with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Murray's shot is good. You won't catch Murray short on hustle. If he's got a chance to outrun the defense on the break, he'll take it. Here's Brown. And Brown with the stuff. I'll tell you, he is so tough to keep down once he gets near that rim. Yeah, he can get up even a few notches higher. Now here's Young. Six points for him. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. The scoring ability of Young is just unreal. It's what's made him an all-star. Oh, that's a pretty bounce pass. Nice. The Hawks have got all six shots to fall in the first. Murray against White. Johnson a screen on White. Murray finds some space. Again, Atlanta. And that is the sweet spot for Murray's J. The in-between area there. Two minutes. Murray against White. Porzingis sets a screen. And again, Boston with the triple. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Murray against White. There's the screen by Johnson. Here's Murray. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Got to be careful how you guard Murray, especially when he's looking to score inside. Known as one of the most successful teams in NBA history, the Boston Celtics continue to add to their legacy doors. Yeah, B.A., this is a roster that completely understands how special it is to play for this organization. They also are mindful of the weight of expectation that comes with it. Championships are their history. Championships are what is expected and put it on a platter. Holiday serving it up for his teammate. Bay with a screen on Holiday. Shot on the wing. And Young gets it to go. Young's got 10. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now here's White. Tatum a screen on Young. Here's White. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. He's got five. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Young, the pass to Capella. The rebound, Celtics. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. They now take the lead. Well, you have 
have to love how Jalen Brown keeps his attention on the rim. He doesn't let the defense change his shot. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Holiday against Young. They kick it out to Murray. Up again. It's good on the putback. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. Holiday taking his time here. Porzingis. Oh, he hangs in there. Cash is in on the second chance points. Well, this is an aspect where Porzingis has been criticized, not rebounding with authority, but boy, he does so there. And a deep three from Young. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for the Celtics. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points. And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. They've done a great job facilitating so far. So moving the rock and finding the open man. Just great selfless basketball. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. They've got Peyton Pritchard, Luke Cornett out there with Al Horford, and it's Walsh in at the shooting guard position. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. Here's Walsh, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Well, now that we've had a few years of reference to us, how do you think the play-in tournament has fared so far? B.A., a successful addition, there's no doubt about it. It's involved more teams for more competitive basketball for longer stretches of the season. That's exactly what you hope for. The Hawks trailing. Here's Bufkin. On the take. And Pritchard pulls it down. Boy, that's the kind of look this offense is designed to create. That's just a tough miss. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. From Luke Barnett. The Hawks have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Down low. Here's Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. I just love the aggressive finish. I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Richard, the pass to Horford. That shot off. The Hawks have gone two of four here in the second quarter. Pass to Johnson. There's the drive. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Oh, my. That's why we have those breakaway rooms. Dude, he risks pulling the whole thing down to the floor right there. Screen by Horford. Cornet attacks, and he lobs it up top. How about the playmaking ability of Al Warford? Wonderful at positioning himself and capitalizing. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter, and there it is for him. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Hauser. Rebounded by the Hawks. Boy, he really wanted that shot. Trying to make the defense pay for leaving him that wide open. Outside Johnson. The three is up. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Hawks. Yeah, you know, simply stated, you have to take care of the basketball, and they don't on that possession. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. He gets it in there. And the Hawks lead by five. Terrific design and execution leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Here's Pritchard. Two minutes. Horford right side. Cornette passes to Horford. Inside. It's stolen by Johnson. On the push. Here comes Atlanta. Griffin outside. Here's Matthews. 
Horford covering. Clock at six. Matthews passes to a Kongwu. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Well, Wes Matthews is a terrific passer. He is hitting his guys in all of their spots. Pass to Horford. Hey, Horford from range. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. Here's Bufkin. Down low. Here's Johnson. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Takes it inside. Just such a terrific dunk. And born to fly, that's for sure. For Atlanta, they've gotten eight of their first ten to go. Great shooting here in the second quarter. Here's Bufkin. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Any play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Both teams will make substitutions. And he makes both free throws. 44 seconds left in the first half. To the inside. It's stolen by Hunter. And a fast break now for the Hawks. And the dunk by Bay. His energy is unmatched. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Outside Holiday. And here's Brown for three. Horford passes to Holiday. From deep. And again, Boston with the triple. Al Horford is such a tremendous passer as a big man. Wow, does he get work done offensively. Capella screen on Holiday. Here's Bufkin. He got it up. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Hawks on top. They're up by five. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. upon us and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far we're seeing a tremendous game from Trey Young they've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense and that's how he likes it and one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime but he has the ability to answer right back on the court for the Hawks Hunter and Bay holding down the forward spots then there's a Kongwu. Then there's Bogdan Bogdanovich. And it's Bufkin in at the one spot. Just a big man playing big. No way to stop it. Holiday passes to Porzingis. Oh, Porzingis gets it done inside. This match Porzingis is a tough cover. This guy knows he can make threes. Now you get inside the lane and look out. Picked up by a Kongwu. Bogdanovich with it. Porzingis picks him up defensively. A Kongwu. And he banks in the layup. A Kongwu's gotten four this quarter. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused. But weird plays happen. Young, he's checked in for Atlanta. Horford outside. Downtown. A Kongwu with the rebound. The Hawks have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. And stolen by Holiday. Pass to White. Fires the three. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And so it's Bay who brings up the ball for Atlanta. Seven-point differential. Yes, it's good. Bogdanovich has got his first bucket in this one. You like seeing Bogdanovich get it done inside. An opportunistic score around the rim. Outside Holiday, White the pass to Brown. Outside Holiday, shoots over Young. That's good from Holiday on the assist by Brown. 
Brown's got three assists in the game. Boy, what a pass by Jalen Brown. Probably one of his most improved areas. Here's Young. Here he goes. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. First team foul. Free throw is good. Young. And Trey Young's attitude on the floor is so striking. He's got this unbreakable edge to him. He's super competitive and is ready to scrap with you. And here's Brown for three. Downtown, Jalen Brown. You know, one thing that has stood out tonight is his scoring. You know, he's kept attacking even when they've been trailing. Young, the pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Young. Unloads. It's Atlanta scoring again. It's great to see Young working off the ball. He's got the skill set to flourish in that kind of action. Another one falls for Boston. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end, but right now the other guys on his team have got to step forward. Young against Holiday. Picked up by Okongwu. Young, the pass to Okongwu. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Porzingis, 7-3, says not here and not now. Oh, Brown goes to the rack and lays it in. And both teams playing with a little more urgency in this half. They are getting after it hard. It has become a real battle out there. Young, the pass to Bay. The layup off target. Boston's gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Pass to Porzingis. Outside Holiday. Now here's Horford. And an intentional foul right there. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. And the new group getting ready for the Hawks. Substitution on the court. Griffin against Brown. From deep three-point range. Okongwu with the rebound. Okongwu's got four rebounds in the game. And it's Murray off the drive. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Murray's got ten points. And check out Murray making trouble for the defense. They just couldn't keep up. Holiday finds Horford. Porzingis with it. Guarded by Okongwu. White, the pass to Horford. And here's Brown for three. And yes, it's good. He's seven for eight now. That three-point shooting sets up every aspect of Jalen Brown's game. What a pretty shot. 52 seconds left in the third. Here's Johnson. Horford with the block. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And now just a two-point Atlanta lead. Now Jalen Brown's athleticism makes him a factor on the glass. Nice job getting those second chance points. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into a court. Picked up by a Kongwu. And it's Murray. Oh, oh get oh, you oh. some! Show us some power! Oh, man. Murray not hesitating to put on a little show at the defense's expense. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. Off target from three point range. Griffin outside. There's the screen by Johnson. And Griffin slams it in. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. And so it's Atlanta with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Getting lots of great looks. Shooting it well. That's why they're up. Here we go. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Boston has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. They've got Luke Cornett, Al Horford out there with Peyton Pritchard, and it's Hauser in at the three. That's the Boston five. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. The Hawks leading. Here's Bufkin. Slam right there. 
Oh, 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 excellent way to pad the lead. Yeah, especially when it's your one throwing it down like that. That's got to be a little bit deflating to the defense, guys. Getting kicked when you're down. My goodness. Murray scanning the floor. Johnson a screen on white. Murray passes to Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Tatum from long range. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got five assists in the game. Murray against White. And it's Murray finishing it off. And using the pick and roll to perfection. I love how crafty Murray is in these situations. Holiday passes to Porzingis. Oh, swiped away. Here's Bufkin. The crossover. Here's Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. And this kind of sick slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Now Holiday. Porzingis with a screen on Young. Releases. Ooh, poked away. Great effort to track down the long rebound. And so it's Young with it. He brings it up for Atlanta. And now we've got an intentional foul. Second personal foul. First team foul. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Capella, screen on Holiday. Puts it up from 17. And again, it's Atlanta. It's another big night for Trey Young. A relentless score, constantly testing your defense. Brown finds Tatum. Outside, Brown. Takes a three. And Tatum, the bucket on the assist by Brown. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Pass to Capella. And stolen by Porzingis. Here's White. And White finishes off the break. Well done. That's what you call speed, being the difference in transition off the steal. Derek White so hits up. Here's Young. And the Hawks tack on two more. And trying to put the game away, he's been nailed all evening. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Hunter against Brown. Pass to White. Forcing his high post. Kick out to White. Just five on the clock. And here's Brown for three. And Bay pulls it down. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Bogdanovich against White. Bogdanovich passes to Capella. Outside Young. The teardrop. Gets a hand on it. It's good on the putback. Both sides are simply waiting for the clock to make it official. This is going to end up in the books as a nice win for the Hawks. It was stop and go for them along the way, but they finally seize full control of this game. To B.A., the scoreboard definitely doesn't tell the whole story. They were able to pull things together when things got tough, and of course, they closed strong. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Trey Young. What a relentless scoring night for this guy in attack mode all evening. Pass to Hunter. Bay with a screen on Brown. Hunter passes to Bay. It doesn't go for him. Brown with some nice D. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're down by seven. 24 seconds left in the game.
and you know they're extremely disappointed right now. I mean, this one getting away from them. Well, they definitely have some things to work out, and you'd love to see them finish this game the right way. Now here's Bay. 